Uh, what? Sorry. Hello there, welcome. Sashri is here at Sashri's page with my fellow guest today, Dusko Pidevic. Hello. Hi. And the beautiful Hari, English, um, English Hawker Spaniel, a golden one. Because uh, we did last time an amazing show with, uh, with Aretha, oh, was a uh, black English Cocker Spaniel. And um, we are actually get a lot of requests of what is the difference in between grooming a black and a gold one. Okay? And this is a kind of series that we, that we want to complete. So this, this Facebook Live actually will be closed. So this video will not be available afterwards. So just to know. We will transfer this video into the Sashri's Academy, so you'll get a chance to have this material together with entire uh, other cocker that uh, Dushko will, uh, Dushko will uh, room. groom. Groom, yes, okay. And then you can watch them uh, from inside Academy. But so far, we can tape this video together with you. Ask questions. I will be a moderator today. I will not uh, interrupt you too much. Okay, thank you. Well, I try. Yeah, well, well anyway, I will try to help and go. Okay. So voila. Yeah. Okay. Well. I I will, I will let you know what the people would love to uh, know. You know. Okay. Yes. Right. So everyone is welcome to ask any question. I will ask the questions myself. Can I? Okay. Sure. As always. Okay. Can I ask? Yeah. Yeah. Huh? yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Chico. I'm sorry, Chico. <laughs> I'm sorry, Chico. Okay, so um, how old is he? Uh, he's nine. I nine in a few months, and uh, he's an old boy. Nine years. Uh, yeah, nine years. He's okay. a veteran dog. Uh, well, he's not showing anymore. Just a few times as a regular, you know, in veteran class, but not really. But I still decided to to keep his coat uh, in a, in, a, in a show condition because you never know he might be showing again. Okay. Okay, so I have my phone for your uh, questions, but I'm quite curious about uh, about what you are doing so far. It's actually what was the last time you 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 did him? Uh, His coat is how how? Uh, well, it, it's no. about uh, it's about a uh, few months to be to be honest with you. Not not, not, not really, but about uh, uh, three months, not being groomed. Yeah, uh, and uh, <laughs> I was waiting for you for long. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, we had a, week, tomorrow, we, we had a horrible weather here around, and you know, with a lot of snow, and then that snow melting, and it was really difficult keeping his coat and, uh, in, in in condition. Besides all the other dogs, but uh, now now we are okay. So what we're doing now is just regularly brushing. Start with the, every proper grooming. So you kept him uh, nicely without a tangle, so this coat didn't tangle and doesn't have any, any tangles around. Uh, what is the usually maintaining plan of yours? So how, how you maintain this coat in such a great condition? Uh, well, you know, just regular brushing, but I do not brush my dogs uh, without bathing before that okay. and uh, using uh, quality cosmetics. And uh, that means that uh, in about seven days, sometimes ten to be honest, but seven days, every seven days is bath and, and then uh, rush and, and blow dry and that, that's it, that, that's the result. Yeah, and again, the very good, this is, this is a, as, as much as we are going through this, uh, you know, maintaining process, we always uh, uh, suggest to the clients and no matter how you are watching this video as an as a, as a owner of the dog or a professional groomer, the best possible maintenance you will have if you do not wa uh, brush the dog in, in between the baiting. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Because you are not ruining the coat. Okay. You're, you're so stage. yeah. So the uh, again now we have a difference between the, the black dog and the red dog because he has okay. an undercoat here a lot with him. But uh, this is this is different type of coat. Uh, we will remove the undercoat a little bit later, but we will start with uh, with his head. And uh, with the golden dogs, uh, you have to do things with your, your fingers, your hands stripping. Otherwise, you, you cannot, you, with a black dog, you, you can use scissors or any other kind of tool. But mm -hmm. with, a, with a golden dog, you need to have uh, uh, your own fingers. So this is what we do, just, just stripping his 
code. The good, talk, good thing with him is that uh, he actually... Can, yeah. can you turn it just yeah, to the I camera? Can do, like, yeah, uh, I can, I can do that. Here? No problem. So right? we see. Okay. So meanwhile, um, where you are watching us from? Say the... Say where you're from. Okay, hola. It's meaning that we have someone from Spain. Okay. Hi, Italy. Hi, Serbia. Hi, Bosnia. We have a lot of people from... Uh, hi, Germany. Yes, uh, Romania. Okay, uh, any question is welcome for, for Dusko. I will translate that because I will be able to, to see them. Okay. Uh, now you are doing it with the finger. Do you, can, you, can you help you somehow? Like, would you, would you uh, like do it with the fingers just like that? I can do it with the fingers. To be honest, sometimes I do have a rubbers, but uh, as a matter of fact, I forgot them, oh, so no problem. Forgot Which them. kind of rubbers? Can I, can, I, uh, can I help you with some rubbers? Do you want? You want something? If you have some here, it will be fine. We can. Wow. <laughs> Just, you know. Like we can make them from... Uh, I can, I can Whatever you do, you know, just to put on the fingers and to make you, you, you know, to make a, a, a finger sore a little bit less and then to, to go to grow a little bit Okay, yes, fast. just a second. So you do your work. I will. And I'll try to see what do I have in order to help you around. Okay. Okay, we have a girl from South Carolina, Kentucky, USA. Hi, people. Hi, Anita. Hi, Asha. Thank you so much for being here. Okay. So here we go. Yeah, it's a plan. Can you can you work with this? Yeah, no, no problem. Yeah. Okay. I'm a simple man, I can use everything like I'm that. I'm a simple man. <laughs> okay. So this is what you can do yourself when you don't have... Yeah, I'll make it. Up. Just to find the scissors that I can give you to cut mm -hmm. thing. Just a second. Okay, do your work. Mm -hmm. How much you need? One or two? Two. Okay, here you go. One, two. And I'll show you how you are, how, <laughs> how did I make them? Okay, so I have one, uh, this one. Is that's fine. Okay? Yeah, that's now fine. what is this? It's, um, Regular, uh, what is, how do you call this? Gloves. Gloves. Hygiene gloves. I Hygiene think. gloves. And I just, I just get two fingers cut off, and he had the rest. So I have, I have uh, two missing, and the rest is with him. So you can do the same if you don't have an, those regular uh, condoms that you actually put on your, put on your hands. So this might be a little tip. Does it, yeah. does it go better? Uh, we definitely, yeah. With this, uh, the. the Companies that will sell, <laughs> they're selling this, we are going to kill us now. <laughs> but okay. Okay, so uh, what are you doing now? Is I'm still stripping his undercoat, which is uh, too long on, on his head, because uh, I want to have a clean line on the head without any, uh, any differences here. It's, it's, so it's easy because. As the coat is longer, it could be pulled out easier, so it's not a big problem for him. Now. I had a question. Is the hi Bobby from USA said, is there a reason for pulling the head here backward rather than with the layer? Like uh, with a, you're pulling it backward. Are you yeah, I'm, I'm. Well, this is this is just the way of technique how I'm how I'm, do, how I'm doing. You know, so why you are doing it uh, worse? Are you are not, not pulling it like, like this? Like back. Yeah. Well, uh, I think it's easier to go out, you know, because uh, undercoat, when I, when I push it, undercoat is go out and the regular coat is just falling down the way it should be. Falling so back. Yeah, falling back. So you, you don't have any, 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 any holes, any problems, any, anything here. Mm. Okay, so that's nice. Can you see how, how the people are doing it? 
Yeah, so and can you, can you see what is actually the, the undercoat? How do you know what to pull out? This is, this is undercoat. Uh, undercoat is lighter. Which one is undercoat? <laughs> this is undercoat. This is undercoat. This is everything here is undercoat. And you want to get rid of everything? Yeah, that's right. I'll do that. Okay. So that is very... He kind of looking like enjoying this thing. Well, hmm? not sure really, but he's a good boy and he's always ready to please me whatever I do with him so I think he's well I think he is <laughs> he does enjoy it yeah. he likes to be plucked or however you would call that so uh, what would be mm, what would be uh, a reason of doing those things uh, like uh, why you are not just making a, a, a clipper and just clip everything here well, how the code would the code, how, how it will be di different thing as we as we speak uh, in previous time. You know, clip clipping it means removing the same coat, cover coat and undercoat on the same length and everything. Mm -hmm. And after a while, you will have uh, undercoat getting a wild, and uh, you know start growing in really nasty ways like no. Uh, straight as the uh, coat of the English cock spaniel should be, uh, you know, like uh, silky, straight, not wavy, curly, any other things. And with a lot of undercoat who's going curly, you, you just don't have uh, the so look. We would, we would actually lose the guard coat. That's right. This, this, this is we, we, we will just lose the, the, the shape that it actually it's going to, to, to be for the, for the, for the English cocker. And the way how you should, uh, and also there, there is a significant uh, uh, recommendation for all of you to make, uh, to make the best out of this live stream. Uh, get focused to what he's doing, and I will try to provoke him to send as much as questions as possible. I will ask everything that I would ask if I would be a student of his. Uh, just the, 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 the intention of this uh, kind of live streams would be that to provoke inside you research on how you should do this yourself. Because everything Dushan, Dushko came on was a, was a way of experience. How, how, how long you are dealing with this? With grooming. With the Cocker Spaniel. With the Cocker Spaniel. Well, I just, this year I celebrate, our, my, my own kennel celebrates 20 years. 20 so, years? Yeah, so it's 20 years of, of dealing with the Cocker I used to have a few, you know, like, like a pets uh, in my schoolboy's days. But uh, it wasn't really dealing with them. It was just, you know, having them. But I'd say 20 years of being really deeply in a, in a, in a cockers. So you dream cockers. So you can do it your, like, completely. Well, th this is something I've done, like, I don't know, like zillion times, you know, so really have no idea how, how long, how much. So see, if you, if you go now, you have the, the line, if you, I can see the camera. You just have the line of the head, you know, uh, gentle. And uh, this is what, again, the, the standard for Coco says, that, mm -hmm. you know, it doesn't have to be too soft, but either not too rough. So you, we have a, a, a noble expression after grooming a uh, golden cocker like, like this. Mm -hmm. Would you prefer to do the, the code that is dirty or you want, you would love to have it clean? Uh, what is, what is depend, depends on the code quality, to be honest. But with the Golden Cocker, it's quite okay to be, uh, to be uh, clean and bath and everything because uh, it's not really much job. Um, with, the, with the Black Dog, sometimes I, I prefer to have them not really dirty, but you know, not, not being washed like for a few days or even a week. Mm -hmm. Because then the other coat would go much easier. Easier, on. that's right. You know, people use a lot of different things to 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 put in the in the coat, in under coat, and then it should be pulled out easier. But I'm just using my fingers, and I think it's 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 doing okay. Yeah. So what is the you you breed cocker spaniel for like 20 years now? Yeah. The name of your your kennel is. Galinagos, that's Galinagos, right, yeah. Okay. And um, you are very, quite successful in that. Which kind of results you, you gained over the, the years? What is the most, uh, how can I say that? What is the most uh, impressive results you have with your... <laughs>
Well, to be honest, impressive things with breeding my dogs for myself is that I've got the dogs that are constantly placed on the biggest shows. So all the time, every big show, they are here. Sometimes they win, sometimes they are like second, third, fourth, but they are there all the time there. And it's all the time with some different dog, which means that's the most important for me as a breeder. Uh, I did have a very nice results. Or, I mean, my dogs had some very nice results at the World Dog Shows, like, you know, winning a best of breed or, or placement in the groups, or at the European Dog Show while winning the best of breed in, in a group, like in Zagreb or whatever. Uh, several really big shows like Bundesliga, Best in Show, or, or Amsterdam being a group placement or whatever. So I do have, you know, some really nice, juicy, uh, 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 in the old breed shows results. Mm -hmm. Then I've got a really a lot of Best in Show specialities. Uh, but it's, it's a long time, you know, I really cannot just pick one and say, well, this, this is my, my biggest one. Uh, the, the thing with the hurry is that he has a reach. He always had. And it was my nightmare, you know, preparing this with the, uh, during the, uh, his years of, of showing. Because it's really difficult how to go there. I find solution how to do that. And I think it's, it's working and I'm really, you know, pleased. And this is, this is the reason why I choose him, you know, to, to, to show my grooming on a red dog with him because uh, this is something I'm, I'm, I think I'm proud. How, how should I uh, change these things and to make look like, like all right. So what was actually the problem when you say reach? Uh, this is the reach. You know, it's just like the coat, instead of going just regularly backward, uh, it's going in outside in. How should I say it? So, yes, so you see yes. here, we, here we what we have. So this is something that we have to uh, take out, but uh, without and ruining when, yes, expression. I understand, but when it, when it stays like that, actually uh, make his uh, stop appear <laughs> a little downish. No? That's right, yeah. That, <laughs> so well, that, that would be an issue, yes? That, that, that's the point, making, making a stop and uh, making, uh, automatically making a, a changing uh, expression. expression yes. so, so here you are judge the, Cocker Spaniels as well. That's right. What is the most important thing when you enter the ring when you see the dog? In general appearance, what would say, okay, this is something what impresses me all? Uh, is there any characteristic, like, significant? As, like a, as a judge, you ask me as a judge. Well, uh, to be honest, this is, this is ju just that. General appearance, when you see the dog, you see a uh, well-made, balanced dog. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you will see later, when you go over the dog, you might see some uh, faults on, 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 faults on that, or that dog. But... You know, all over picture, you see a, a typey, uh, you know, English Cocker Spaniel, and those are dogs that, uh, as one very wise lady explained them, uh, stand with all four feet on the ground, uh, just look at uh, his handler in the eyes and wagging the tail, and that's, that's enough for the start. This is the one that, that is actually English Cocker Spaniel. So the character does play a significant being role in it. Absolutely, yeah. It's a, it, you know, the, fir the first, absolutely the first word in the, in the uh, standard of English Cocker Spaniel is a Mary Cocker. So, Mary Cocker. yeah, no, a being a Mary dog it means uh, a dog that really, you know, have to, have to wave his, wag okay. his tail. Yeah, that's right. So, uh, Paula is asking from Romania, how often do you recommend a stripping for a dog uh, that does go on, does goes on shows? Monthly approximately. Uh, well, <laughs> it depends how, how often you go for the shows. Definitely before <laughs> every show. Uh, but, uh, well, I, I'd say like uh, different parts of, if, if you are the, the, the groomer of your own dog, uh, it's the best thing to do some things uh, regularly, like every a week. For example, you can uh, pull out his undercoat all the time. But don't use uh, scissors, for example, for your dog for a neck or whatever, because it will change in the next seven days. Mm -hmm. So uh, some things you should do really often, almost like I, 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 I uh, use, uh, I earlier explained, I used uh, the, the comb with the, with, the, with the gum and then pull out 
undercoat of my dog. This is why they never had a lot of undercoat on the back. But this is uh, regularly routine when I'm when I'm just brushing them. So it's it's something that that we can we can do. Uh, this is which I can recommend to do to be done like really all the time. Uh, but uh, to to use a scissors or some other things, well, I would wait just before the show. Day before show. So again, a couple of uh, he said I also had impression of ouch. What does that mean, <laughs> Martin? And who had ouch again? Like um, Charlie? Gailey, if I pronounce your name properly. So ouch would mean um, again, probably. Does it hurt? Uh, I think a little bit, because uh, when I'm pulling out undercoat, sometimes I pull the, the coat. Uh, and it happens usually when you have no experience. Nowadays, I really think that I'm doing my job well <laughs> and that he does not suffer at all. Yeah, that's very important. So you, you will hurt the dog if you, the coat is not ready for, to be plucked? That's right. It's meaning that... The, so uh, if you are following the... The, the 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 routine of the hair growth. What is actually how how often the the coal the coal uh, the, the, the the undercoat grows when you when you need to do this 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 plucking. Well, how it, often? It, yeah, it grows like uh, one one centimeter during the month. So when you have you know like uh, undercoat as well. That, that's right. Okay. It, 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 with the English cock, it, it it goes really 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 fast. And uh, if you do that monthly, I think you can keep the things on a, on a normal thing. Anyway, you know, th this boy, gen generally, he's quite a sensitive, so he will, he will let me know. If he would, he yeah, would yeah, <laughs> he would say something if, yeah. if, if it hurts him. Uh, Kathleen says, no, it's not ouch. When you have a correct technique, you are pulling only a dead hair out, and it's not Ouch. Agree. That's what we really agree. So this is why, why you need to practice your routine and you need to really understand uh, how and what is, what is to be done. Because uh, if you are, if you do understand the guard coat and the undercoat, undercoat has a, uh, undercoat is that what shed often, more often than than it's a, than it's a guard coat, and That's that is what done. is actually changing the shape of the dog. When the undercoat doesn't lace nicely on the on the skin of the dog or gives a shape to the dog. Okay, what the heck you are doing now? Um, oh, I'm just asking this like I don't. Yeah, know, yeah, right? all <laughs> right, all right. Yes, yes, we've seen this before. Well, this is just uh, removing an undercoat of the of of his uh, neck and shoulders and and through the body. Uh, as I said earlier, just using this thing for, you know, like brushing, in a way the coat is growing. Okay, so we have a question. It says, do you strip the rest of the dog or just the head? Well, we just actually yeah, show. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what, what is the difference in between doing the head without uh, uh, coat king and now doing the rest of the dog, uh, dog's body with the coat? Uh, why, why you are doing I'm, uh, well, uh, the head you cannot just do with the coat king first because the, the coat on the, on the head is more, mm, more soft, uh, not so easy to, to pull out with, with anything else. And I'm afraid I'm going to hurt his, his, his head, you know, like, like, like on this, this. And plus you never have uh, a, a proper results by using anything else than, uh, than uh, hand stripping. Yeah. Great answer. Thank you so much. You're very nice to talk to. And then we have a question. Is, uh, is it okay to use a coat king? Sh the wiki just asked a question before you take <laughs> took the coat king in your See, wiki, this is, this is what I'm doing now, right now. So it's just like Can the way of the dog brushing. The yeah, yeah. Like of okay. course, I'll so do So now uh, the next question, uh, what I would like to ask you is the concern of the people of using coat king on the, co on the, on the, on the coat of the, of the sporting breed. So actually, this is this is a way you would perform any sporting breed, no? Uh, more or less, yes, yes, that's right. More or less, like, yeah. uh, and we said sporting breed, uh, we don't have that kind of uh, nomen that, that, uh, uh, differentiation. We don't call them sporting breed in Europe, but uh, we have gun dogs. Gun dogs, yes. Yeah. So what right. would be like uh, um, everything that has a similar type of the coat, 
like uh, spring spaniels of setters, food. setters, setters uh, yeah, plumbers, and uh, well, that plumbers. that will be all, yeah. Yes, great. And the concern of the people last time we did the live stream was that if you will use and do the code king, you will uh, you will uh, make a dog be be cut. Actually, you will cut the. You will cut the 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 the, the coat, the coat and then coat. the coat will go curly, which but did not happen. <laughs> and now we saw the dog that is not groomed for three months. You said yeah, the three right. months. So you see, three months he's not in a coat, and then uh, oh, you know what? People want to take a picture before. We did just when he was sitting. Yeah, we don't have another line. Okay, we'll, before you start the next, I just want to take a picture. Okay, all right. Uh, so. Uh, what I want to say now is actually yes, what we saw that it's actually not true. Theoretically, it can be if you are cutting the cold all over the place. But what Dushan said, if you are following the direction of the, of the hair growth, That's right. you are not going to cut that. You see how, uh, so just a second, so this is the way how he moved the code, this way, and this here, that way. So uh, how the code grows... Here, is, which here is the length of the code that stays. So it's about, uh, how should you say, inch and a half, two inches? It's just now, but yeah. you can't say this is what, what's going to happen, because if it's a winter, it's longer if it's... That's right. Now, so you, it's not on some... Which fingers? My fingers or your fingers? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like those kind of... Uh, Measure. Measurements, yes. Yeah. Uh, so the most important thing of using a code king is that you pull the code, uh, you you Just brush the code yeah, that's right. with the code growth, and then and never yeah never remove all everything. Just leave all the time something so actually with this you protect protect the the, the cover coat. Okay, and also a very important thing is when you are using a code king, is that. As you can see, like he do, it does look that he uses uh, code king every single time in the same place, but it's no, he's going uh, place by place, so because of that, the skin under the coat doesn't get hurt. Okay, which type of the size do you use? Hi, Aida. Uh, but with the coat king, is not a problem to cut the coat. Paula is asking again the same question. So. What if you would cut the coat with a code king? So what would be an answer? It says, do you cutting the coat with a code king? I, I'm, I'm not cutting the coat with a, with a code king. If I do that, I would hope that it will grow fast enough that I will be able to do that again. This means that dog is not for showing well, but it means that you need to have technique, proper te technique for, for that. So the very important thing is if you are taking the dog, uh, if you are taking a brushing, like brushing the dog with the coat king in the direction of the hair grow, you will net, not get a chance to make a, to make a, to make it cut. To make that's it right. Cut. Yeah. So you that's will not cut the coat. You will just turn the undercoat, and then the rest will, and then the coat is just like slightly nicely stay as he already stays here. Because what I saw on the beginning is that he has a couple of curves. Here. Yeah, that's he it. has here high, kind of a wavy coat. So he has because this is how undercoat is growing on his neck. Can you just put him, please, before we go, just to uh, put him in the stand uh, towards uh, here? I just okay. Can I'll use oh, no, 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 no. Before picture. Uh, it's not a before picture at all, almost. Okay. So this is a before. Do we have a can you stack him like a complete profile, a full profile? Like that, for me. Smile. <laughs> you two are gorgeous. Okay. So uh, the the importance of the using a code king is helping you a lot. So actually uh, what we had uh, what you have uh, just a second mm -hmm. you have a mic as well you can talk whatever you think is uh, okay so um, do we have any more questions okay Thank you very much for your support. Like we have a nice share. Thank you a lot. And uh, okay, hi from Denmark. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, do you use a code king elsewhere rather than but a head? Actually, we are not. Uh, uh, thumbs up from Greece. Okay, thank you, Peggy. Uh, Tina is asking uh, from Denmark, uh, do you use a code king elsewhere rather than a head? Uh, Actually, we don't use it on the head at all. No, uh, on the head not at all. And uh, on the hawks, on elbows, on, on ties, I use again fingers, which I will show later. So okay. only, actually only neck and, and uh, neck, shoulders, uh, back and loin. This is what I'm doing. Neck, shoulder, back and loin. Yeah, that's right. Okay, neck, shoulder, back and loin. Thank you very much. Oh my god, he does enjoy. Yeah, yeah, it like, like tickles him a little. Oh. Uh, what gives uh, possibility to one that just shape, and as, as you see that uh, Dushan is not, uh, not concerned about how the dog will look like, he's just doing his work. And that is what I'm telling you, if you sleep and wake up with a breed, like he did over 20 years, then you have a perfect shape of the dog already on the screen of your mind, and this is what you are going to, to get and look after when you are doing the, the training. He's using an, an, the code kinging or which kind of technique. Technique doesn't matter too much. This, this technique of your change over the period of time of 20 years? It is. It is. Because what, what you did before you had a code king. Code king is maybe 10 years in between. That's right. Well, we use the other kind of knives, you know, like trimmers or something like that. Uh, then I just saw that people are using code king, try, try it and realize it. It's easier for me to remove the undercoat and uh, maybe find a little bit better, better result. Okay. Yeah, you like it. Do you like it? Itchy. <laughs> this is my chihuahua doing when I'm petting her. Okay. So the question was. Uh, no, I don't know. Is it the question here or there? But uh, I just want to see. Um, Okay, how far down, down on the body you are using a code king? How far down on the body do you use a code king? Not much, as I said, just on the back. I'm not using on the side, because I like cockers to be rounded, you know, sometimes. Okay, Harry really has a rounded rib, but... Great, with a great point for to ask you why. Why would you love to see that? You ask me. Yeah, no, why well, yeah, I'm asking myself. Okay, ask yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, why are you asking me? <laughs> why uh, would you love to see the rib cage be strong? Uh, because, you know, one of the main characteristics with the English cocker is that they are supposed to be, you know, sturdy, compact, and then you have them with a big, they have rounded ribs. And they're all of them, they're, they're all, they, they are built like, they're built like, a, like a sprinters, you know, like, a lot of muscles everywhere, and rounded everywhere. And where did you get that from? Standard. Standard. Yes. That, that, so you see what is very important. You don't groom a cocker spaniel according to what Dushan told you. You are grooming the cocker spaniel according to how do you interpret the standard. Because that is your, tra that is your belief, that is your truth. And that is very important. Because now you just get to the point that how down you are you are doing this uh, this uh, coat king, and the answer was not so deep aside because I love to see dog have amazing rounded rib cage, and that is coming out from the standard interpretation. My own, <laughs> your own, yes. Yeah, that's right. Because that that that's that's very funny. Like you have a standard since you are the judge. How do you judge the, according to the breeds that you are actually not familiar with? Again, read the standard again and again and again and uh, try to imagine the perfect a dog that fits in the standard that, that you, you can imagine. And do you try to see a cocker spaniel first and then adapt that, that standard into the other breeds? Does it, does uh, it to be honest, it, it happened to me when, when I started judging other breeds than cockers. 
But uh, fortunately nowadays I'm, uh, I get rid of that, so I just basically look for the, for the breed that I'm expecting expect to see. And how much, uh, how much, uh, uh, what was the question? I'll give that to my mind. Okay, okay I'll be we'll not back. coffee anymore. <laughs> no, 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 no. no, you can drink your coffee, it's okay. Um, so, the idea of, uh, of having this uh, entire picture of the Cocker Spaniel in your mind, that is what I would love to get. Does the picture of the Cocker Spaniel of yours change over the years? Definitely. Definitely, because uh, one of the good does it, things... Does it went towards, uh, towards uh, interpretation of the, uh, of, of the trend? Or it went just with your growth as a breeder and understanding more deeply into the standard, <sighs> breeding dogs? Question of everything, answer of everything. You know, it's like, um, it's just in a time you are... You read the standard, you... you just a second, time, because okay. he, uh, Kathleen is asking my third time, and I'm sorry, girl, for this. She said, what, uh, uh, never ask, ne never answer the question, she pointed out to which kind, uh, how big is the code key you are using? This one? Yeah, 10 or 16. Uh, 16. It's 19 blades. 19, 19 blades. blades. 19. That's right. So it's kind of very, show it in camera, show it closer. Uh, not so close. <laughs> You're always funny to work with. I'm funny and then to Anita says, of course, you know. mm, <laughs> Harry Coffee. <laughs> Harry Coffee, yeah, that's the groomer's, yeah, yeah, that's fine. groomer's choice. Um, Harry Coffee. Uh, okay. So, and you are just doing now opposite of the hair grow. No, it was just like, uh, I'm trying. I have a little bit longer coat here. Okay. So I'm pulling back. And then now, when I'm uh, returning back on the on the on the position where this should be, I'm making. So you are still uh, can cut the coat with the hair. I can I can do that, but I, I usually do not do that. I will do that on the ears. I'll show you later how okay. should I do it with the ears. Yeah, but this is uh, this is what I really wanted to point out is that this kind of um, this would also. But we will do that if you are doing it with the with the stripping knife. You will still cut the coat with the knife, if you have it longer. Uh, that's, that's, that's true, that's no? true. Yeah, well... Uh, with, What's the difference? The, uh, this one is easier for this me. This one is easier <laughs> for me. What, really, what I really love with you is that actually you mold the dog's body out from this hairy everything, and this is why I cannot stop impressing you, and what I would love to... Uh, thanks. Uh, what really would love to see, and uh, actually get into is that track on how you can become so confident so you can do this kind of thing. That is what I'm very good I'm, I'm not interested in how amazingly technical-wise you are doing the Cocker Spaniels. Mostly what I'm impressed how easily you are doing that and it, everything flows out of you. Like everything but up to tears. Well, you know, <laughs> after <laughs> 20, um, <laughs> um, a lady colleague, colleague from, from like a breeder uh, from, from Italy, who is also a judge now, and uh, she has a nickname for me, you know, she's called the King of the Ring. King we, of the Ring? King of the Ring, which actually oh. is like, okay, let's make a fun of him, but <laughs> It goes from my attitude in the ring because I do feel comfortable and I do feel very self-confident when I'm with my dog in the ring and probably I'm looking like that and made such an impression, you know, so all right, I don't mind with that. That's nice. I mean, that, well, is, that is actually what, that, that is uh, uh, how I call it, that, 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 that is actually the, 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 the final goal of doing any job is to uh, feel yourself fulfilled with the things you do. When, when, you, when you stop caring about what other people think about what and how you do, is that you know that you are doing your best up to the moment, and then that, that, uh, that definition of the best is changing according to the moment. So you are not stick to the, to, the, to the moment. Thank you guys for sharing this video and giving us more, uh, more attention because just to say you, this video will not stay uh, 
live after uh, will not be on replay after live. It will be available on the on the uh, Sashri's Academy with the Dushan Dushan's. Uh, what do you call that? Dushan's teaching. And where I have a question now, I just saw we have eyes. Thanks. Thank you. How much? Hello, Dushan Sasha. Hi, girls, boys, and which of you? Where do I find the things? Um, okay, I lost. Uh, okay, it's here. Again, with the code king, just, just moving down the code. But what we have left here. Can you put it aside just uh, to be available to the camera? Mm. More side. Okay, yes, yes. Like okay. It. So these things here with the golden dog still has to be removed with the fingers because it's just a cover code. Which one? This, this code here. You don't, we, we, we must not use scissors, we can use anything else than the finger, just to pull out. It is. Mm -hmm. uh, by pulling out, we will, again, make a, just a, a, a statue of a dog. Yes. It, can, it can stay, we can blow drive and everything, but it will be not a perfect job. Mm -hmm. This is why I'm using a, a, a fingers later again. So now what you want to see is actually to open the cock. That's right. Correct. So we will see the, that angulation in behind. Um, oh my God, how gorgeous quality he has. He does have a really, a really, really nice quality of the coat. And again, back on the, on the other side, I'll try to make myself back here. Again, guys, you here. Have a, you have your beautiful expression. Thank you very much for sharing, liking, commenting, and everything you are actually doing with this video. Are there differences between Code King brands? I, I use Mars, Code King. Uh, I tried some others mm -hmm. years ago. I really cannot help remember the name of, of those Code Kings, but Yes, it does have a difference, and uh, I strongly suggest Mars. Oh, I'm not working for them. <laughs> this is not yeah, but that's because you didn't know that we will have them from the next week. <laughs> okay, <dokie>, okay, then. <laughs> no, it's never mind. Yes, uh, you will have an. Uh, okay, so 54 minutes. We are already live. So you're doing this. This around 45 minutes. What do you think? This is uh, how uh, how long you 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 can you can work. Well, we have about uh, a front feet to remove some under coat mm -hmm. and then we go with a, with a, a little bit scissors and finally again a little bit final touch with the fingers and that will be all. Uh, Aurora asks how do you make sure that the skin doesn't become irritated going over the dog like that? Because he's got a lot of coat on him and, and I really, I really can see there is no if it's possible there is no pinkish or any other kind of color it just a white color here, so it's protect. It's very important to understand that uh, that uh, when you are doing the coat king around, it's always important not to not to go two times at the same place. That's right. Uh, so with a, with a, you you can uh, Dushan is doing it very fast, and you are not able to see. But if you focus your attention on that, uh, and if you might uh, have it back with this camera here, because he's doing a lot, maybe. So okay, you okay. can see that he's actually doing, I can see that from here. So he's doing a layer by layer. That's right. Here, here layer by layer. Layer by layer. You know. layer, by layer. That's right. And that is how you end up having no dogs be irritated with this. Okay? Nikola Dalibo. The, the they really have to feel their dogs. Gabrilovich says hi to them. Hi. Hi to India. 
Maria says they are hardy and the people like hardy a lot. Hi from Greece, hi back, hi to Hungary. Thank you, girls, guys, boys, men, women. Um, Denmark, are we travel to do you travel to Denmark? If you do, is it possible to book you to teach a group up here? Well, um, I, I have no intention to go in Denmark for this. I will be in Finland. Maybe we'll have in Finland drawing seminar, but it's not really up to me. It's up to some organizer to, to organize things. I'm open for every kind of... Hi from Belgium. Hi from Belgium. Hi, people. Thank you so much for being here with us. Um, uh, everything of this, including... Huh? Uh, everything of this, including... Um, both uh, so grooming the golden English cocker spaniel and the grooming uh, black English oh no golden and English and black you have a chance to follow on the Dule Dusko Piljevic uh, part of the academy because he will he will teach this this uh, this kind of uh, grooming and you can access those courses on sashurisacademy.com and uh, so far we have one, one, uh, one course that is actually uh, last uh, live stream of yours when we had an, a, the grooming code with Reta, the, 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 black. the black one, beauty. black beauty. Uh, so sashurisacademy.com you can purchase it for $25. Okay, here you go, sashrisacademy.com, and then you can choose, then you can choose, um, I'm on the wrong page, and then you can choose the English Cocker Spaniel with Dushko course, and enjoy his enjoy his, his amazing lecturing. lecturing. So um, here you can see some of his, some of his, uh, his courses, and we will add these more courses to his to his uh, pages when this Aretas is done. Okay. Uh, what I wanted to tell you more about his. Fingers, small letters. Okay, oh, Nikola Volic sends hugs and kisses. Nikola Volic? Yes. I tell him that his party color is going to be tell the model. Him, tell him that his party color is visible. Well. Yes, uh, Nikola, we are looking forward for your, uh, what is her name? Jagoda. Jagoda, get ready. Jagoda, Jagoda, get ready, Jagoda, because we want to give to this, uh, to this English Cocker Spaniel. Uh, like a series. Yeah. English Cocker Spaniel series, we want to add the particular dogs as well. English Cocker Spaniel Dynasty. English Cocker Spaniel Dynasty. Yeah. Okay. Oh, good, uh, good evening to Australia. Okay. Hello, down under. How do you know? No, it's Gil, uh, Jill Go. Okay. Hi from Car Carolina. Hi, people. Hi. Shayu from India. Where are you people from? Okay. Uh, now what we are going to do is it's just removing a coat from his front legs. Yes, Kathleen is asking. We are going to bat. Yes, we are doing the entire process. You will say uh, you will get a chance to make uh, to see entire process. Okay. Now. Okay, so we have a question from Hungary. Uh, Aniko is asking why you are not uh, doing a code king through the code that you make a wet primary. 
I don't know. Aha. Uh, Is there a technique? Yeah, yeah. Uh, some people use a coat king on a uh, wet coat. Really? Yeah. I never heard of it. Uh, yeah. Uh, I've seen uh, Attila was doing that sometimes, and uh, some other people can do that. Mm -hmm. So in, 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 it works really nice. I've just never tried that. So this is I, I, maybe in a few years you will see me doing you know with the, with the wet dog, but at the moment I'm doing with the, with this kind. So again, the main important this is where I this is what I'm what I'm always about to to, to tell and our courses and I try to in, encourage everyone. This is a technical part of how to we want to express something. But the problem of grooming dogs in 99% that the people doesn't have a source to express. Because which kind of technique and what kind of shape, how you are, it's looking like you are just going all, all over the place. Yeah, like you are just doing yeah. here and there and then the legs. And, but deep in your mind, you really know what you are looking after. I hope so. <laughs> huh? Yeah, I hope so. How do you know now? And I say, what is now the guidelines where you stay here? The guidelines like, you know, I like the front feet to have a nice... Two fingers yeah. from here and two yeah, fingers yeah, yeah, from yeah, there, no? No, no fingers. <laughs> Just like, um, he has a really wonderful shoulders and a, a, a really long upper arm, which we will uh, point expose, later. Okay. But to expose it, I need to have a, a feet groomed well, you know, to just to make... Um, this is... Um, How now you know what does a nice shoulder mean? How should I know that? <clears throat> no, nice how, should, I, should I explain that? Like, yes, what does it mean, okay. nice shoulder to you? Nice shoulders means that you have a nice neck, well put in a good line with a, with a, with a, uh, a back. Now you know, beautiful okay. scar. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. uh, if you go over the top of his shoulders, you see it's the well, away, uh, it's, it's, it has a, a nice lay back. Mm -hmm. uh, so they are here. Um, when he was younger, he had and upright shoulders, like many young dogs. Mm -hmm. uh, but in a time when he grew up uh, and he built his body, the shoulders just laid on a fine, fine place. And you will see later it goes here. The upper arm starts from here and ends here, which means it's, it's long enough and the upper arm and skull are supposed to be in, in equal size. Mm -hmm. So with him is well-placed upper arm, well-placed skulls, and that's, that, that makes a nice, nice shoulders. Yeah, and then uh, actually on the end you will see the nice would be if the elbow comes just down under the shoulder, high point of the withers. That's right. So we will see that the front leg support the dog, dog's body uh, very nice and gives that stability to the final picture. So that is what, what, and how I, what I really like to encourage you to do is do not think too much. Learn about the dog as Dushko is doing over 20 years. So now you don't need to, you know, have that knowledge out from experience. You can get there different way. Are you getting, uh, what, 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 are you okay with that? Uh, yeah, well. Madonna thing? Madonna thing, yeah. I straight uh, the pose. <laughs> straight the pose. <laughs> straight the pose. Uh, okay, so, and then when, when, when we are actually, uh, when you are actually having, Vesna Todorovic says, hi guys, looking great. Would you recommend any kind of powder which is making stripper stripping easier? And do you use stripping knife kisses from Cyprus? Oh, Vesna, we love you very much. So, um, did you hear what... There are um, plenty, plenty of, of, uh, of powders that can be used. Mm -hmm. But again, I would uh, recommend... Uh, the guy for the cosmetics you to, to explain how to do things, but yeah, it, it can be done. Why would you use that? Uh, because in that case, um, undercoat makes a more thicker and mm -hmm. it's easier to out. Yeah, that's right. That's, that's, that's the point. You know what I was using for that, usually? Nope. The baking powder. Yeah, it's kind of good. <laughs> Baking powder. Yes. That right. was, uh, or how you call Gustin? How that can be? Do you know what that is? I know what you mean, but I, I, I don't know what it's used for, <laughs> but I have no idea how to say it uh, in English. Okay, we, we already answered that question about uh, Code King is have uh, 19. How much? 19 blades. 19 blades, yeah. yes, 19 blades. Okay. Um, okay, so, so we are things. 
uh, 19 blades. Yep. Okay. So now the question about the, yes, you're very asked. Uh, we have nice response. Thank you very much for being with us. Hi, Fran. Hi, Martin. Hi, Alexander. Uh, people from all over the place. Tiana, Kizic, Butor, me, you, them, us. So, what was the question? Shall you bait? Yes, we are buying bait. Milos Strizovic has looking great. Who? <laughs> yes. A guy who recently just found a, a hound to be his favorite. Which one? Breed. Uh, Whippet. Oh, we? Oh, oh, okay. Great. Um, yeah, that's really with the coat. With the coat drawn. <laughs> that, that, that was very nice. That, that was it. So, so, uh, so just do it. That is that is the main point of everything. The learn previews. When you when you imagine, think you want to make, uh, then the technique will show up itself. Because as we said, like there is a change, significant change over the years, and uh, of the appearance of the dogs. Uh, the technique is actually different part of uh, different different way of expressing that feelings outside yourself. But until you do not develop the perfect image of the dog you want to create on the screen of your mind firsthand, no way that you will get anything out from your hand, and no way that you will be able to do no matter how how uh, hard you are trying to focus on the technical part of expressing something. Now what? Uh, I'll show you the difference when you go on the opposite side of the of the grow, code growing, and it is something what you've done on the ears. And just ask that coffee from me, so do not pass the camera in front of the camera next time. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pass it to you. Okay, uh, okay so... Um, so with the ears, I don't like clipped ears. I don't like too much tiny scissors on ears. Uh, that's again against the code. Yeah. With a black dog, you can do really whatever you like because it cannot be visible. But with a golden dog, you can go on the opposite side. You will remove under coat, but you will make the coat uh, cover coat make it shorter. Mm -hmm. Just as it follows the line of ear. And then you don't have any kind of, you know, I call it little horns that makes very, very strange mm -hmm. expression with the English cocker. Okay, Luca says a little bit of kindness will not be a bad idea. Kindness, kindness of what? I think maybe... Uh, to him. You, to, am, I, am I kind to you? No, maybe me to hurry, but I, I think I'm kind enough. I have no idea. Yeah, but we, we already went through that. Like, uh, uh, the dog is very sensitive, so if something with anything would hurt him, that you, aren't you going so deep? Nope. Why? I explained it last time with the rat. Again, I like this way to be longer. <laughs> this makes more elegant appearance of, of uh, head all over, mm -hmm. just because it's, it's longer. And the last coat brushed. Okay. So see, I'm going now on the opposite side. It doesn't look, I don't know how does it appear, but it doesn't uh, seem to be any kind of, uh, any kind of, um, we skip again and again. So we need to go over this thing uh, over and over because I think that is a very important thing. So you can choose to do all of this with a clipper, correct? I can, yeah, that's right. Either you will do like a pet trim, you will go and uh, then the client will come in the, in, the, in, the, in the grooming shop and say, okay, please groom him all over the place with the, with the clippers. 
and the groomers will do that because the clients would love to do that. Yeah, okay. What is happening? Is, it, is there any health issue towards the coat? Is there any health issue towards the skin? If we choose not to do this way, but to use a clippers all over the place. Yeah, it is. That's the hardest thing to understand. Yeah, that because, really yeah. hurts. Because if you, if you clip the dog all over, like, you know, you totally change his uh, <clears throat> coat quality. As I said, the, the progress, the speed of how coat and undercoat it grows, it grows the same speed, but sometimes undercoat with a lot of clipping is going even faster than, than the, the, the coat. Hard coat? Uh, the, 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 yeah. And then you will see a dog who was clipped for a few years, that he changed the color of the coat, he really get really light. Because first you see the undercoat, then there is something, tower coat somewhere, dark And coat. then on one stage cup. If you have so much undercoat. undercoat, there is no chance that a skin can breathe. Mm -hmm. There is no air anymore for that. Then you have a dry skin, and then have new cases of Saborea for sure, which is uh, one of the very common thing with, uh, with the dogs who are clipped all the time. So this or you should clip them really often, like to keep the coat very short, and in that case the, coat, uh, the, the skin can't breathe. But, um, then we are facing a thermal problem, like right. with, the, with, the, with the... It's something else, because, because it's not the breed that used to be, you know, it's not a hairless breed. It's Different and now if we choose a not to groom, like why this is natural way of appearance of the dog, but maybe we can choose not to groom them? <laughs> well, look, it's, it's like, uh, again, you, uh, is it, it's possible not to groom the dog if you can brush him twice a day. And instead of cocker, you have like, three, two, all over <laughs> But you have to then to have a top knot somewhere because you need to see something. <laughs> something. And, and, and like this. But this is not an English Cocker Spaniel, so you obviously choose, uh, uh, choose the wrong breed. True. So you see that uh, maybe there is a chance to improve the technique like this. And even if I do understand, it must, it might sound and look by watch aside that there might be some roughness mm -hmm. but really dog doesn't react and it's really not not like maybe well, his coach really like thinks uh, the people might uh, think about can we imagine something to have in a hand stripping dog like uh, like uh, for example if we would do the live of uh, hand stripping like uh, Fox Terrier or Lakeland, for example, or Seelichen Terrier that have very tough coats to work with and very soft and whatever you do with them, it does look like you are killing, killing the dog. And it's uh, not, not, not like anything what actually in, in, happening in real, real time. That's right. So, okay. uh, people usually like to see, I personally like to see this kind of hair. You have the ear, this is a tough time. Um, we will pull this with the fingers. This is what we need to do to, to make the final things. But everything is just going in a one line. You, have, you can see no difference, and there was no uh, scissors or clipper or whatever. This is just the opposite technique, you know, doing a reverse side, and, and it works. Great. Hi from Texas. Thank you, Marion for being with us. Thanks guys for your comments, shares, likes, and the impressions, no matter of which kind. We do really much appreciate it because um, it's really our best wish in order to promote uh, health way of doing the, and right way actually, to doing the English Cocker Spaniel. I wouldn't say that, uh, and always would recommend to improve the technique, so you will be able to to have these people uh, to, to have this breed uh, be done like that. Because actually, we done done like by this, because we just explained uh, what would be and what is happening when you are when you are choosing uh, clippers to do it. Yes. 
when you're doing it uh, on a regular basis, how much time you need? For example, like uh, this is really not the dog that is not groomed for three months, and now we need to uh, we want to do the entire process uh, in front of the camera. Uh, but when you're doing it often, so it's meaning what would be a routine? How long it would last? Like like that? You ask me that for yes, how long? How, 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 uh, yes. How long would would be last to be nice? About three four hours. Not hours. <laughs> three four hours. If you will do how often? Ah, if I do how often? Like in three months. Like if I'm doing uh, a monthly hour and a half. Hour and a half. Yeah. And you are uh, doing them, baiting them on a regular basis of seven to ten days, depending on the code. With the boys, absolutely. Yeah, yeah with the boys, because they're being. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we are, we are sending. What type of the code king is that? Again, like we are giving back the answer. It's a code king of uh, Mars, yes? Yeah, Mars, the 19. Mars. Yeah, plastic one. This is a plastic. Okay. Uh, and uh, and uh, 19 blades. 19 blades. Joanna from Greece sends kisses and thanks. We are great. Nina Anya is thanking. Well done. You are wonderful. Thank you, girls. Thanks, girls. So again, opposite side. Upside down and yeah, you just said one. You said you, uh, you said you do it this way and then you it off. <laughs> that is sometime, you know, uh, you know what was, uh, I had a very nice, uh, great seminar in Bilbao last uh, month, two, three months ago. Mm -hmm. Dusko is amazing, one in a million, says Anna Radovanovic. Uh, Shvorkov. 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 Yes, Anna the Great. Wonderful Ke Quebec, Canada. Morning, Canada. So the people from the west coast, west of the world, are slowly joining us. Up. It's a morning there. Uh, what I wanted, to, I started my 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 uh, my uh, little story from Bilbao. I said uh, in the morning I did a poodle, and then in the evening again I did the poodle. She said to me. In the morning, you did it this way, and now you are doing it that way. I said, why you are doing that? Because I said, I don't know. She said, how you don't know? Because I said, if you are just making it on the... If you know what you want to have, that is the main issue. If you know what you are looking for, it doesn't matter how you will get there. Do you agree with that? I agree with Absolutely agree with you. Hi from Russia, Dushko. Your work is wonderful, says Elena. Hello, Elena. Thank you very much. Belova, you know? Yeah. Uh, thank you from Italy. Oh, Kathleen says, I'm sorry, we need to go because client is here. Thank you. Says, is, is. Love you, Kathleen. Okay. And uh, yeah, take care. Take, thank, you for, thank you very much for taking care of such, such a great care of, of that baby. I send it to you. Thanks a lot. Uh, okay. Uh, hi from Sarajevo, Alma says, great and wonderful job. Loic from Italy. Sasha, thank you for these live videos. People can learn a lot. Also, thanks for the wonderful cosmetics. Oh, boy, I love you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Which kind of cosmetic are you doing? <laughs> it is really necessary <laughs> to say so. <laughs> to maintain this wonderful coat. Yeah, yeah. Well, I do use the Sasha Reese cosmetics. And uh, I'm really pleased with that because this is a cosmetic that works so nice. And I. I had an adventure, I told you, uh, when uh, I was uh, with my favorite black dog, Jolica, in the ring now for the best in show, and we were waiting for the best, uh, best in show, you know, mm -hmm. he, was, he won the group, and we were just waiting for the final examination by the UK judge who was doing the best in show, and um, okay, it was raining outside, and my, my mistake was I did not let him, you know, go do do his business because we did not have a time. We had to go in a free ring and we stayed for a quite longer time there. And uh, well, there was uh, the, the, the place for the top winners were there with, 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 with some hay and, and my dog just was about to, to be lifted on a table but he went go to his, his job. Pee -pee. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> 
And I saw the people, you know, just waving me. I was looking what was he doing, and he would just lift uh, his, his, his leg. And uh, the good thing and the great thing with this conditioner of yours is that this just was went through, and uh, it really didn't make any harm to his coat. So he won the best in show. So it's not really <laughs> didn't. Either. I mean, he won. I, I guess because He's some a other great qualities. Dog, but of yeah, course. anyway. But anyway, it really it really works so 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 nice for the for the coat because it makes it, it soft, it makes uh, straight, it protects coat, and uh, the most important thing. I think is uh, give a moisture and feed the the the, the coat. Yes. So it's it's. So yes, this well, is this, this is what I'm using. Well, what should I say? Uh, uh, what should I invent say? something else. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what, but invent something. Yeah. The Juliana from Italy sending uh, kisses and your uh, work is simply perfect. Yeah, that is why we Thank have been you. Here. Well, this is it. What? Things with the uh, coat key, things with the uh, fingers will be ended. Like a final touch. Now we will have to have. Uh, here he is. So he, now you can see the shape. What we are trying to do here. What we are trying to. We're trying to make him. Now he's got some top line. Well. Mm -hmm. We have now recognizable part where we are going to use the scissor to make uh, our shoulders, you know, pointed. We have a nice bit here. We just have to round it with a, with a little bit of the scissors. We have, okay, tell, it's all right. It's, it has to be done, but now we need a scissor. This is, this is the part of the job. Great. Uh, okay, so now we are using uh, scissors. Yeah, masterpiece collection. <laughs> Against Sasha Reese. That's right. Okay, I'm sorry. So, what I'm doing with the reach here is uh, trying to move the code it goes in this part, like doing this and this. Following the. Doing against. the opposite against the, the way it grows. And try to make it as shorter as possible, right here on a stop. Okay, can you just give us back the picture? <clears throat> oh, congratulations! Your technique of scissors is amazing. Using scissors. Yep. Now, you practiced. It was easy. I just accepted. Simply gorgeous. Trying to learn stripping. Yes. And uh, yes, we will have that um, that uh, that course coming up with the Dushko together on um, Sashri's Academy, and you can follow the. Uh, Okay, time to learn stripping. And what about? Uh, oh yes. Just a tiny thing here to do. And it's he has this line, mm -hmm. but the stop is there now, and it makes a difference. Especially when you watch it from a side. From show a side, it, show, show, show to the camera from a side. From a side, it's yeah. Now it's different. Because actually, yeah, there is. A, you see that you you will not get rid of this. No, actually, no, that, just, that, yeah. that will that yeah, will yeah. give a a proper a yeah. proper shape. Shape. And what the standard says, which kind of skull it should be? Skull. Mm -hmm. Well, the line of the head is supposed to be parallel. It doesn't set by standard. It's now the common thing that people expect to see. And with the parallel lines of a head, you need to have a pronounced stop, but not too much. Because then you will sh lose the shape of the English Cocker Spaniel. You will go closer to American, which is not good things to have. 
or in English content. Yes. Do you know how to groom in Latin America? I think so. Do you? It's easier than with the uh, with English cockers because you have a last job to do. It's fun. Really? Really. <laughs> I mean, yes. <laughs> really fun. <smart. laughs> That's cool. Uh, so, <clears throat> what we want to, uh, what you're doing now? I'm, uh, I'm just moving some code from his face, you know. He's got some code here and mm -hmm. trying to make it uh, short, clean, and, you know, like, grooming dog. Nothing special. There is nothing special here. It really, I really truly believe that we can use a uh, clip here, you know, mm -hmm. but, but I don't have a clip, so I'm not a clipper, you know, so I'm using my scissors, but... You would use a clipper? Some people do that, and there, there is no difference if you do that right but here. But you're on, sure on not hands with a knife, so doing it like that, plucking it with a, with a, with a, how you call that? Plucking it with that... Strange. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever, whatever yeah. Or replace on your finger. Well, yes. no? well see, we, grooming with a dog, old dog, is all the time you are surprised, you know, to see a whiter and whiter part of him. Mm -hmm. You know, because it used to be the same color as this one, but he's get now getting gray. For nine years, it's okay, I think, but still, surprise, surprise. Some, uh, I would really love you to be here to see, but even though I, we have a great technical support, so I'm, I'm quite sure that you see everything, and please, if you would love to uh, ask any questions, do feel free to do so, and as well, uh, share this and help other people learn a little bit about what was now that... Uh, Strange movement of your fingers. This what, one. What, was, was, yeah, what yeah. was looking at? I was checking, checking for the sternum, you know, just to see where, where to start. Why? Because I usually start from, from sternum. Sometimes with a dog who has a shorter neck and so, uh, start a little bit lower, making an optical impression that the dog has a longer neck. Mm -hmm. Or if I have some kind of giraffe with me, and then lift it up, like, trying to make it in balance as possible, because uh, the point of grooming is making dog is in balance as possible. <coughs> what does the balance? Balance. Mm -hmm. What is balance? When you say balance, what do you think balance is, actually? Something that is... make a you know, nice picture to your eyes, if you say, if I ever can say so. Like, like, um, the same question is what, what, what the type means. You know, it is, it is something that is recognizable and that you can see all the time mm -hmm. with a dog. And then, then you can, you know, just ac accept as a, as, a, as a true and, and the right thing for some great, that's, this is how I, you know, feel about it. Okay, it might be. What do you think the balance is? Balance is? Balance. Yeah. When you say a ba nice balanced dog, I, I know that you will see the balanced dog and the dog will probably be... The dumb. balance, uh, the, 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 if, you, if you, you yes, of balance. course. Can you just... No, no, the coffee, the brush. <laughs> no, the, the, the brush. Yeah. Yeah. Um, when we say, uh, for me, the balance does mean doesn't uh, fall in parts. Mm -hmm. So that every, th every, every single, because... Uh, balancing, when you say balancing, it's meaning that you can stay against the gravity. Okay. And that is actually, for the, in the grooming world, using a sentence without really uh, approaching the real meaning of the sentence can cause a little uh, confusion. Okay. So, uh, for example, when, when I speak about the balance, my intention is to keep everything against the gravity. So, because, but with the grooming, it's very easily out of the balance. Because when you see the picture, that picture should look like it's balanced. Mm -hmm. Balance does mean will not fall in part. Not while standing, not while moving. moving. So okay. that's something what I think is a balance. Yeah. But, um, so it's easy to have a nice and clean line. That's right. Thanks. Uh, and uh, 
I'm quite impressed how uh, chopping all over the place you are doing with those scissors and still having a very, very beautiful life. It's uh, theoretically almost impossible. Okay. <laughs> but no, just do it because that is what is, what is extremely e interesting to be shown is that people see that actually your hand is guided by your mind, so your hand is guided by your subconsciousness. That is the, your hand and your technique is already part of your habit and routine. And in order to develop routine, you need to work on the mind, so in the conscious mind. But while in the conscious mind, it's not too useful yet because it's not a habit. And that is what we need to really understand. It's actually that uh, we, if we want to develop a new habit, it requires time and it requires, uh, you know, understanding and feelings towards real emotions that you, that you go uh, actually for. And this is how you will uh, develop the routine. So now you, will, you now you are using these little sufferings. Yeah, well, I'm trying to to keep the inside ears clean. You can also do this with a with a clip. Yeah, clip. that's right. Absolutely. Let's see, no, no point why not to. Except um, this is my own dog, and my own dogs are not used to clippers. So you know, I don't think that Harry would enjoy this as much as he's drawing this. Yes. Okay. So what is about... Uh, just a second. Mm -hmm. uh, just a question. Do we have any questions? Uh, not yet. Uh, I just uh, lost my window of uh, where we are. Okay. Watching with you. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, people. Uh, okay, now what I wanted to ask is actually, I don't see the question now. Thank you very much for your reviews, for your help, for everything. Uh, the question is very reasonably, uh, we ask those questions, how do you recommend we ask everything of that? Uh, Nicola, we ask that. Thank you very much, guys, for this awesome com uh, How do you pronounce that? Uh, <laughs> Yeah, because you, that, that, that's amazing, no, because now finally you get rid of me. So you get a chance to focus on your work. Yeah, well. um. so just use a little bit of scissors to make some things, like, you know, here, just to make, to make a proper shape of a head. What is a proper shape of a head? What does it mean, proper shape? It Wait. means not too rough, not too... You know, again, like, like again, uh, uh, it's it's very, that's, that's very funny, I said, you know, I, I must tell you this story, you know that on, uh, in our academy we have one, uh, when we speak about standards, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then I have, uh, then I, uh, on, on some exam, it's not exam because actually 15% of the students pass that test, mm -hmm. if I take a standard of the dog, mm -hmm. no matter which dog, and I remove the name of the breed, Mm -hmm. from the standard. Mm -hmm. And if there is some significant, uh, uh, not even significant uh, color, and I, I leave almost everything rather than the name of the breed mm -hmm. All right. and the history of the breed. All right. And uh, then I give them a uh, standard and ask them what breed the standard explains. 15% mm -hmm. of, the, of the people pass through that exam. Because yeah. if you are reading a standard, and beforehand you, are not, beforehand, you are not knowing which, which breed you are reading about. There is no clue that you will know which breed actually you are reading about. Uh, because a lot of things are uh, so gray, so as you said, not 
rounded, not yes. not uh, not too rough, not, not too, too rough, yeah, not, not to too this, not to that. Like That's all right. the time is like kind of very gray. So it can be either or. The question is who is reading the standard and who is interpreting the standard. I agree. That's right. No? Yeah, absolutely. Can you just uh, help us uh, with that camera? So we use a camera, the other camera as well. Because you stand. Uh, okay. Next time, pong grooming. Yes, we will have pong groomings again very soon. I promise. Hi from Colorado again. Thank you very much. Hi, people. Uh, thanks. Okay, um, now, here is done, almost, just we would like to have a shape. How do you scissors the scissors of the, how did you scissor the inside of the ear? How did you <sighs> Use a classic scissors and then just go this way and move what I like. I can do a little bit more, no problem at all. So just remove the coat, nothing. Inside the ear there is really nothing spectacular to do because you just have to move the coat out. But it's a, it's a hygiene, actually helps uh, the ear breathe, no? It is. I, uh, well, <clears throat> to be honest, uh, we, we agree to, to have this, you know, uh, uh, grooming and everything. So this is why I left all the ears. All my other dogs already, though they are not fully groomed, all of them have uh, feet done and inside of the ear because I just cannot let go the, the, it's absolutely the question of hygiene. Nothing. Great. Now the oh, okay. We have uh, Gingy. Is it Gingy? Is it that how pronounced? Desmitros. Okay. No? She's from uh, France. She says uh, I have a per perfect particular model for you this time. Yeah. Okay. It will be before the crafts. Huh? Yeah. I know. Yeah. It will be actually. And uh, oh, you know that. Yeah. That's I, yeah. That's right. Be a the crafts. No, she, it, it will be before the crafts. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, okay, I have great. to groom the dog. Yeah, all right. Okay, we love you back. Okay, let's see what's gone so far. Well, okay, now we, we have a head, a ear, a neck, and now we have to make these things what? here. Point of upper arms, point of well-made shoulders, point of, of, of end of the work we have done Okay, so now we are going to uh, and says the best period for grooming. I don't know, is it the question or the, the statement? <laughs> so what are you doing? How close to skin you are going so far? Here? Mm -hmm. Very close to the skin with the, with, the, with the front feet. Here I live more because in that way I can make this upper arm appear. appear and point it like you know if the dog has a little bit shorter upper arm I make it even longer optically mm. not really <laughs> <laughs> the judge can always go over the dog and there are no fooling around things but it gives a nicer picture that for sure this is very nice uh, angulations it says okay so uh, uh, Anne is asking Six weeks or more to have uh, to have the, 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 the grooming in between, like uh, the routine of the grooming. As I said, some parts can be done weekly. Some parts can be done just on the right time, you know. Mm -hmm. And every dog is actually different, you know. Yeah, Somebody. That is what, what I just wanted to add there. Every dog is different. And. Um, so routine somewhere in between once a month or once in the six weeks would be a great. Yeah, it will correct? be some. Yeah, some. Yes. some. Uh, okay, so bravo dule maestre, Nemanja Rančić. Thank you, Nemanja maestre. <laughs> okay. 
extending back the minimalist uh, regard. Very nice response. Thank you guys very much for being with us. And uh, thank you very much for your questions, shares, and uh, impressions. Um, Dushan is doing an amazing job, and I'm not letting, letting actually him enjoy this by putting up all kind of questions. Uh, myself being interested in as well, helping you understand maybe a little more about this, but focus on everything would be get to know what you want and then follow the technical routine. It will help you achieve what you want. <laughs> that would be my, that, that might be a, a nice idea. Thank to you and very much. Uh, okay, so now, what do you want to achieve now? What is the purpose of your move? Uh, movement is uh, like, okay, sometimes you have a coat and elbows and sometimes when you send the dog up and down, if you had the more coat here, it just looks like that his elbows are not tight with his body mm -hmm. and so he actually, will not be judged, but anyway, I'm, I'm trying to, you know, to make it. So actually, you want, yeah. to, you want yeah. to have a clean elbow? That's right. Right? That, that was my idea. And now we are we are doing the. Can you just move your head a little bit away? Yeah. Somehow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> because we just don't see what you are doing. Uh, I, okay. I might do like not watching. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll take care not, about that. Not sure about the result. But no, it's but anyway, okay. I, I I follow. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, Anyway, I can I can I can. Yes. Him. Thank you. And uh, well, Harry is really a pleasure because he has got a really strong forecast, you know. So it's. It's a wonderful thing to, to work with him here, because uh, in this part you can... How, get, uh, how close you get in between? Are you, are you open? Uh, do you have a significant difference in between uh, front leg and chest? Are you going so deep in between or not? Uh, I do. Are you, dividing, uh, are, are you cutting out the, the coat from the armpit, armpit or not? Or not? Is this here? Uh, Something, yeah. I'm making. I, I'm. Um, <coughs> I'm moving coat from our pits. Just mm -hmm. we don't need that coat, and it's all the time external. So I if I can, I can remove that. Here it is. Okay. So what is very nice to understand is actually, uh, as you can see now, slowly the dog will just appear. Um, so our pit off. We, of course, keep this coat, but our pits are totally clean. Okay. And now what you can see slowly that the dogs, uh, that the dog is appearing in its very nice body shape with the furnishing all over the place. That is actually what amazed me always. You see how nice, nice uh, shoulder, nice uh, front is appearing and very well, very well and nicely angulated dog in front. Your chest is very nicely set and angulations of the front are presented. Uh, this is not because uh, you need to present angulations of the front or back or whatever. This is because a natural uh, shape of the dog's body appears this way. Because uh, when you are able to make the dog appear in its natural state, and the Cocker Spaniel, as the most uh, sporting breed, it's a nice body shape with the furnishing, correct? Yep. Then if we know the, how the body shape is correct to be, then you will be able to, 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 to make it, no matter which kind of technique you will use. Agreed. You must agree with everything. Yeah. <laughs> Can we argue on anything? <laughs> Please, let's, let's find something. Yeah. Let's make farm out of this. <laughs> to, 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 yeah, to do more engagement. We can find <laughs> just for fun, no problem. Oh, that's fun. For example, please, give me some coffee. Hey, you want coffee? Yep. Yes, here you go. You want something uh, more other than coffee? Mm -hmm. okay. Well, thank you. Uh, so, 
Now you are doing the, the same thing same from thing the opposite. From the other side. Yeah. Uh, would you like to see a little uh, fuller muzzle or no? Like a nose? With him? Mm -hmm. I did. I, I did. I you would like to, yeah, I would like to, to see a more forward facing him. Mm -hmm. But again, his granddad, a little bit lost his expression. Oh, yes, expression. But the, still, the expression appears very nice. Just maybe a lot, because the muzzle is very nice and would be long with the, with the nice yeah. loose skin to create the nice shape, but maybe just fullness. That's we think at this yep. point, but still doesn't make any any uh, gorgeous. He he fell in sleep. I think he's bored. <laughs> bored. A nice. Uh, again, thank you very much for being with us today. This video will not stay uh, too long on the, on the Facebook, but it will be available for purchase inside Sashri's Academy, where you will have your instructor on the English Cocker Spaniel that named I'm sorry. Why, uh, why I keep you are not focused? On Dushko? Yep. No, I'm very much focused on grooming. So I messed up with the net. <laughs> I'm, I'm very much focused on your grooming. That point, yeah. <laughs> well, I can be a boy <laughs> if you like. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, if I use clipper on the face, is that okay? And which side would she use? I said I really cannot give any tip about using a clipper because I'm, I'm not using myself. Uh, I don't think it will be a big difference because there are generally no undercoat here, so you cannot really ruin anything. But it will be something with a you know small place for the for the ears, for inside ears, for the same I I, I would use for a, yeah let's say for ears. Mm -hmm. You know that for photos for for example what 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 kind of. Uh, for example, on the on this kind of faces, I would use uh, seven blade wares. I would never go with any with any blade that can go with because it will stay. It will leave a lot of uh, marks. Right. So everything what I would do is actually use a seven wares and go again. Yeah, this. just that. And that just is, just yeah. add add uh, add. Uh, then you just uh, you know uh, do it with the with the uh, uh, thinning yeah. shears. Just work work around so you will be able to place everything on the right. Everything on the right way. Tricky thing about golden cockers is that you know every <sighs> every mistake is so visible, you know, and uh, there is a different coloring in such case, and then you have a dog with uh, you know a lot of different things on on his body, and that that does not look nice. Let's make some. Okay, it, it, it's like a weird selfie. <laughs> it's a live stream. Okay, so we answered that one. Uh, and now you're doing this. The same, just making, you know, this was done with the, with the coat king, this was done with the fingers, I have to Will make... Will you leave some... the eye, 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 eyelashes? Eyelashes, I like eyelashes. Oh, I like In it. girls, particularly, sometimes in boys, I just make it a little bit shorter, but I always keep them. It gives them softer expression. Okay, you're very welcome, Anne. Thank you for asking. I cannot touch this thing because then actually I just lose everything, so I need to act. Thank you. Just uh, answer to see where we stay with them. Okay. Why did you scissor uh, the inside of the ear? Okay, we answered that one. 
as I said, here and there. Go I'm, I'm really, you know, ready to accept any other, <laughs> you know, suggestion about moving a code from inside years without scissoring and not flipper. You know, so I don't know what, what else I do. There is no chance. No, no, no. I think it was just a question why uh, why you are using that. Uh, you said maybe it would be uh, would you use a clipper if you would want to have? Yeah, yeah. It's 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 okay to use a clipper, really. But you know, just it's. Uh, for me, and I told you, my, my dogs are not used to that. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the first and most important thing for me is that they still enjoy this as much okay. as possible. Yeah, but really, uh, he's really cute. He, he does fall in sleep. I can't say really what would be the how many times in his life he was grown, so I think he's just used to it. Yeah, but, uh, oh my god, what a nice, what a nice face. Never mind, just leave it. <laughs> I'm just bored. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, I'm not. so I'm looking like you have uh -huh. here a little more hair sticking Three up. Three hairs are left. <laughs> Three hairs are uh, No, no, you are doing everything just flows and uh, you know when when we said that in in the when i speak about this i always say uh, sasha is in search of free towards free flow of excellence that is that is actually what you can witness here this is 20 years of uh, of leaving the english cocker spaniel just flows up to you and then you know sometimes it's very difficult to explain why you are doing something because actually you just came out with the things you are doing that's right. So it's much more uh, uh, it's much more difficult and easier for me from this this angle, you know, uh, watching what you are doing and then try to figure out why you are doing that way because sometimes the people I call as a guest, as a guest here are not aware about, about why they are doing things they do. Because and then you are coming uh, th then we are coming into the focus and then the, the the speaker can say this is how you are doing it. No, this is how I am doing it. The yeah. question is why you are doing that way, and then to in, to encourage other fo other folks other other folks to search on their way of expressing the things, because as as you said, there is a guy, uh, Zagladi, very 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 uh, kind of uh, rich in the the, the, the 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 knowledge of the English cocker spaniels and in the retrieving dogs as well. No, very yeah. famous judge. Yeah. And uh, he, uh, his, um, his shape of the uh, cocker spaniels are amazing That's right. as well. Yeah. But you see the technical, uh, um, technical expression of that source of his, the content of his knowledge is actually... Is actually uh, different in, in his different, own way. Yeah, that's fine. Different yeah. way. So the technical, the technical expression of something is a form in which way the content of your knowledge is being expressed outside yourself. And it's not something what we should be really, really focused about. Because sometimes you will uh, see something today and then you will implement it as a tip. And then uh, when you are going to have that uh, implemented, it will not look like you, 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 you would expect. Because it's a, it's a way of someone else is doing the thing. No? And this is what I always encourage people, when you are seeing this, someone growing, growing this way, uh, where the knowledge actually just flows out of himself. Try to ask yourself what you can do so you can learn uh, to express your knowledge uh, in the same way. But trust me, first thing you need to have is the knowledge. <laughs> so then the knowledge asks, uh, knowledge is looking for the way to be expressed, and then technical ability appears. It doesn't go opposite way. It doesn't go opposite way. So in order to groom the front of the English Cocker Spaniel, you really need to understand how the front is looking like first. No? I agree. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, when I'm doing, um, you know, like these ma master classes, you know, and, and have my students with myself, and uh, workshop and everything. Uh, I let them do, you know, the things they are they are doing, and uh, 
I cannot really tell them, look, in this part you will come with the scissors this way or this <laughs> way or you, whatever. I just can say what the final results are supposed to look like on specific regions yes. in this poker. And it's up to them how they will achieve it. How they will achieve it. That's right. Because generally, in uh, some time, with, uh, with, you know, with, with, with some experience, they will come to the easiest way for them how to they If they are not stick to the, to the right. technique. They shouldn't be stick to that, that much, you know. And for me, one of my really greatest friends, <laughs> he's a left hand. So absolutely no way that I can explain him what to do, and you how know, to, and how, how to, to do how that. To. Because my left hand is totally useless. But I, I just can tell him how to... What is the goal? Yeah, what, what, how, how to, what, what is the goal? That's right, that, that, that's the point. And then when you know the goal, then the way how you will get there, it's, it's no, 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 it doesn't matter. It's same like when you want to come from the point A to point B, for example, from Belgrade to Zagreb, you can go either or. <laughs> yeah. You can choose the way how you will get there, but if you know where you are going, you will get there. If eventually, you know, yeah. eventually, <laughs> you, you will get there. Or the, you will visit Hungary <laughs> or Bosnia or whatever you want to go around. So here is the point to make no differences. And again, with a golden dog, with a black dog, it's so easy. I really can trim a golden dog and go the next morning in the ring with him. With a golden dog, I usually do it before there's some important show, something like 10 days earlier, you know, to start really, you know, from a, from a, a, a hairy bush to make a cocker. And then final touch in the morning before the show, or the night before the show, depends. But, you know, with the, with, the, with the golden dogs, it's really tricky thing because my point is that there is no difference now here. You don't have a white spot on everything that you can, that you can cause. Dragan Jevtic sends us hugs from uh, <laughs> And he says that we are very uh, vredni. How do you say vredni? Hard working. Hard working ones? Yep. Yeah, especially when you say it in Munozini. Uh, yeah, okay. Hvala mu puno. Yes. I think he's working. Yep. Yeah. His voice. Hi. And again. Uh, uh, can you see this now? I think you are doing it great, and a nice shot for the camera. You get everything of that away. Actually, just opening the elbow, as you said. That's right. So, see, these are something that are supposed to be removed. I will stay just without. Just move uh, a little bit aside. I can just make it like this. Is this okay? Yes. This is perfect. So it's really close to the skin. Yep. So what would be uh, a way of uh, 
How close you are going aside to the to the sternum? How close you are going to the sternum from side? How wild is uh, this sternum? Yeah, well, I'll just on the, just yeah. on the sternum. No, just everything uh, everything else is. Well, is here normal. is the sternum here, sides, and I'm I'm leaving. You know, I just it depends. If you have a dog with a lot of muscles here, then you can leave more coat to grow on the same side and you have plenty of him. Sadly, sometimes you have a dog with not so promoted, you know, a sternum and even left. Then you should move a coat here and then to leave um, impression that he has something there. Would you, uh, what are, uh, I, don't, I don't remember and even if I remember maybe it would be nice to ask again. Because we have uh, people coming and going mm -hmm. in and out from the from the live stream, it's uh, as a judge. What impresses you the most? If you have a similarity in the color, in, in the in the in the structure, but one has a better this, the other one has better that. What is the what 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 things you will go after? Um. So to we are speaking. We are speaking now about the coat, or we are speaking about the dog generally. His, I'm his speaking about you as a judge. So no matter now you say me a beautiful shape of the dog, no matter which kind of body is, and then I will say yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> so well, I, then in that case, I would like I would go for the for the for the uh, <laughs> well balanced dog that, in my opinion, can work like you know, like a kind dog dog. Uh, it, it's just, Stupid answer, to be honest, but um, it means a lot if you know what you're looking for. So I've got a, a dog who uses himself a lot. Uh, it probably means that he is a well-made dog with a what, nice balanced angulation and also with a, with a, with a you know straight legs and no no faults anywhere there. But that that this is something what I am looking for to see. And uh, final thing when I want to award. Uh, best of three, for example, uh, I go for the the cutest expression. What does the cute mean? Cute means really like something that makes me, I would like to give you a kiss. And this is probably why I'm, the bitches all the time wins, because uh, a bitch is generally has a cuter face. Really? So, yeah, that's right. Well, that's okay. and, uh, you know In my opinion, Coco Spaniel is a girl, you know, not a boy. So, <laughs> I know people will hate me because of that, but this is my opinion. And, right. uh, and, um, Why would anyone hate you? Yeah, because there are a lot of people, you know, who, who adore their, their boys, you know, and then they simply cannot understand why. Uh, is it possible a girl to win over a boy? You know, it's like, no, no way. For me, it's very impossible. Okay, and now maybe a nice question is, you have a nice body. Okay. Let's say nice body that works and there is not a lot of code presented. Mm-hmm. Okay, so and the coat doesn't give so much nice and and uh, and, uh, and, uh, and the flary expression. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And then you have, but that dog has very nicely rounded ribs and beautiful four yeah, yeah, nice details. Yeah, right, everything right, is right. Okay, yeah. no coat. Yeah. Okay. And then you have a uh, not so nice dog with a not so nice chest. Let's say overangulated, but for this kind of breed, is let's say might be a little problem. Yeah. Okay, light in bone structure, but flary coat and beautiful outline in picture. Mm -hmm. Which one you would? It's kind of a offensive question, to be honest. You know, like. <laughs> <laughs> but if you want to argue now, I can say so. No, no, no. Uh, I, I know. I, I, I really know why I'm asking this question, and I, okay, because you're yeah. a judge. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I never well. judged the dog. I, I was mm -hmm. always on the opposite side. But I'm curious, really, about what you will tell me, and then we can. I would, I would tell you really that I would go for a dog with a well-made body and the coat eventually might come over. The dog with a lot of coat will always have a lovely coat, but he will never have a, a, a nice body. It's not possible to, to build up in like, you know... No, no, but we are speaking about the moment of the show. Moment, anyway, the moment is like, okay, I would go for a... a and then even, you will... Even the hairless dog, you know, uh, only the dog that really... Like I cannot, I cannot give an excellent or clipped dog. 
because then the coat structure yes, is yes. not proper, you know. So I don't know if the coat is actually, you know, curly or whatever, so it's try to be mistaken. But um, again, if you read the standard, you can see that he has a nice straight silky coat, a lo little longer on ears, feathers here, chest, bellies, and a little bit on a hind leg. So we'll go after, uh, for example, now you have a beautiful lineup. And then you have first, second, third. Yep. And you need to take a picture in front of the big audience. And you will put up the hair dog from first. Yeah. And then you will put a beautiful outline dog on the second. Yeah, and people would wonder why on earth, how on earth that one over that one. Well, but the, 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 and then, you, yeah. then, then your dog will go into the best in show ring and then the judges around sitting will say what the heck he did. Or yeah, well, that's right. Well, look. <laughs> that is, is, that, is that going that way? <laughs> It is going that way. Thanks God, we again develop more than that. Because nowadays, you don't have any more a final picture of the best of breed, the best of property sets, like, let's like say, or the final placement that goes on the internet. You have a video. <laughs> also, judging from the classes, judging from the... So, again, sometimes you will see that your hairless dog moves like a dream around, and the super hairy creature is doing something there, so it's, 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 it's different, you know. So I would go for the hairless but nice makeup. Because of the video? Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I all the time <laughs> okay. show up to the, <laughs> the others. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Okay, yeah. this is how he ended up looking like. Okay. That cute. Uh, that was a very, um, I, I can say, politically correct answer. Thank you. Very much politically correct answer. Okay. <laughs> His front is done. Oh, the other side, sweetie. Uh, I miss this one. It says uh, Elena says, nice time to remember the time Simon uh, took first place at the competition grooming Dushko. Thanks for live broadcast. We need, we all, we need to learn always. Elena says. Okay. Thank you very okay. much. We have really a lot of questions somewhere, so I lost myself in all of these. I don't know where to watch. Let's say maybe I'll ask this. I'll just give you a little bit Maybe I can turn a little bit like this. No, can, any, can, can I ask you to post any questions so maybe I will be able to find something? Um, I just want to find your questions, but I'm not able to. Can you discuss setting the ears? Okay, thank you very much. Uh, Be Beggy, I think. Beggy? Uh, okay, so what we said, um, can you discuss the setting of the ears? Setting? Yeah. What does the standard say? How the how the ears should be set? Low set, low set before the, the angle of fire. Under the angle. Yeah, yeah, under, sorry. So you said this yeah. is under, then low. Yeah, well, he's, he's got, like, earrings so low there. Very nice. And he has, generally, he has a longer skin. You yes, know, he like, does have a Yeah, he, he, he has a very long ears, and all his progeny has the long ears. I mean, sometimes I'm, I feel, like, surprised to see college judges, like, you know, measuring these things, because it's supposed to come to the top of the nose, but what this really doesn't mean, it, it will not make a cocker better or, or, or worse if he has that kind of, of uh, yeah. length of ears, that's right, you know, so but Okay, great, I hope this would be, this would match your uh, question. Uh, okay, thank you so much people for your sharing, and uh, it says congratulations, this is most like video so far. Okay. Sure. Uh, <coughs> okay, now we are doing the rear. Yep, which we also like a lot to be rounded and muscle, well muscle. And, uh, and what you are going to uh, take down with, the, with your... Uh, it says no video signal, is that correct? We do have, like, make a re try to refresh the page. Uh, Vesna, try to refresh the page. And then it might appear again. Um, okay, so uh, what are you doing now? Like, uh, how long do you do? Okay, what is intention? Let's start that way. 
Right what now, the, yeah. yeah. Well, what this is, you know, I, I try to remove code from this part because this, if the code is longer, it will make the dog longer. And we, we want a short hobby poker here. But on the other way, I really have to take care about the length uh -huh. of the coat on the top of the ties, because if you remove too much, ties will be too narrow. narrow okay. And we would like to see a nice, but to be honest, this dog is not in training. He lives his life like laying on the, day on the couch and just go out to do his business, you know, and go back. He's not running much as he used to do, and he used to be a wider here, but mm -hmm. uh, the point was the, the coat grooming, so this is why I'm not, you know, he, he can be trained easily again, and he probably will for some shows in the summer, but he will not be shown in the next few months. So uh, this is how we can try to, to, to move the thing. And again, when I was grooming with a coat king, I was going a little bit behind because this is the way how I'm going to brush the ties and make the coat around him. Uh -huh. make it Up around. here. Yeah. Okay. So there is a question. These days you hear a lot of people that use a coat king. How do you feel about that? I still do old fashioned head sweeping. So if you, uh, when this video would be uh, uh, done, uh, you might, uh, okay, I, I promise you, I, I'll leave it for a couple of hours uh, on still. Uh, so you can uh, see that actually Dushan was, Dush, Dushko was using um, Dushko was using um, coating all over the place, all over the place, because uh, he said this is a tool that helped him um, save time. Am I correct? Save time, but also improve the shape outline. Yeah. For Final me, form. yeah. For me, it's easier, and uh, I think. I can do even better results with, with, with this. So, easier for me. I, I'm, I have really nothing against the hand stripping. I, I, I truly admire people who do that, and it's it's wonderful thing. Thank you, Nicolette, very much for your, uh, putting us the, uh, up this question again. So, we might uh, want to know that we have people coming in and out, and uh, maybe I, I'll uh, ask you sometime to Okay, yeah, no problem. No, yeah, no problem, no problem, no uh, Okay, so uh, how do you do the tail? Do you like, uh, did you learn your uh, eye to see the cocker with the long tail? Or uh, how do you feel yourself seeing them now? Like, uh, uh, I was uh, watching yesterday Westminster, you know, and there were cockers with the dog tails. And um, to be honest, I was I was a little bit like surprised to see them now, you know, because I, I got used to, to uh, dogs with the long tails. Mm -hmm. uh, still believe that docking is not so, you know, ouch thing for, for the small puppies. And still I do have uh, a problems with the dogs that wave too much, uh, uh, they're wagging their tails and hurt it. But it says, uh, uh, Kelly says, uh, Kelly says no video, just black screen. But we have uh, here, in our production, uh, does anyone else has a problem? Like uh, people try to, video looks good. Okay, thank you, Mona. Uh, I think that um, uh, Miriam Psycho joined. Uh, hi, people, and uh, thank you very much for sharing, commenting, and uh, sh um, sharing your impressions with us. Uh, this is an amazing um, time we spent here at uh, Sashri Studio in Belgrade, together with Dushan. Dushko. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I want to be kind of, you know, uh, nice. And then I said, uh, Dushko, it's coming like to be shortened from Dusha, but you get like myself. Because I, I, I really get uh, when someone called me Alexander. You like it or that? not? <laughs> I just don't, I don't hear it. But yes, uh, I do agree. I'm sorry. Dushko. That's my name. Dushko. Oh, video is okay. Thank you, Katja. Video is okay when refreshed. Great, thank you. And uh, um, where did you disappear? Okay, I can give you two months. You won't curl. No, no, I've got, I've got everything I need now. So. Okay. And then. Um, Uh, 
uh, what what did you what did you use? Well, I just moved. Uh -huh. some can you can you move move it a little bit aside? Mm -hmm. On the other side, opposite of uh, the other side. Uh, it's too much. Aha, uh -huh, my back. Okay, your well. back. Now, now we confuse him because see, we can, I can stay like like this, and he will, he will keep it. <coughs> uh, the always question was how how do you feel about? Okay, we have maybe new questions. You're absolutely master. Thank you, Sasha, for sharing. Uh, thank you, Nina. And then we have Becky. I didn't know you took so much of Undertale. What uh, uh, that? How it should always be? <coughs> that yeah, is this is how I do. Yeah. That's <coughs> Again, for me, it's a thing of um, hygiene. Hygiene. Yeah, that's right. Especially <coughs> with the males. Mm -hmm. You know, with the girls, you cannot go too fast because they, yeah, too far, too far down. But uh, with the boys, you can do that. But, because again, when you look the dog from the side, yeah, you uh, that that is the intention. When you look at dog from the side, you don't you have any coat that will spoil the the outline, uh, uh, the line of the angulation. That's right. That's right. That is what that is what we want to see. Yes, that's right. <clears throat> and now we are going to hand strip again, this part and this part, this part and this part. Okay. Yep. This part and this part. I showed, okay. I showed that. <laughs> Now we are using again our uh, yeah, yeah. finger. Yes, <clears throat> So I'm not grooming undercoat now. This is okay. a, so I cannot go on the opposite side. Uh, so on you're the going opposite with way. the coat. Yeah, I'm going with the coat now. Okay, with the coat. Thank you, with the coat. Okay, I see. Thank you so much. Thank you, Becky, for your question. <clears throat> uh, thank you, people, for your questions, shares, comments, and impressions. It does mean a lot to us because this is how we get engagement going on with this. Okay, so what do we want to do? We want to now a point hind angulation. Again, tricky thing about the people, and I just wrote about, wrote about, wrote, wrote read about that actually. Uh, read or wrote? Read, read, read about that. Uh, that, you know, point to hind angulation is leaving a lot of coat here on the hocks mm -hmm. and removed coat here, which is true. But the basic is making where is the knee. So let's move the coat and point really where is the knee. So show the knee somewhere with the coat. Okay. And it will appear pretty soon here. So then a people from the side can see the dog. If you can okay. see, you can see the well angulated dog, we will move this, but still he's well angulated and not too much, not over angulated dog. Mm -hmm. You just want to make a dog that has a nice angulation. Okay, uh, Anna said, uh, Sasha, one proposal. Think about a grooming golden in a full coat online. A lot of our friends in US and Canada, groomers and breeders don't have experience in grooming goldens in European way. Their grooming is totally different. Yeah, I really have an. Uh, I really do have. Uh, I do have. Um, I really do have. Uh, how do you say that? A plan to have a golden for sure. Mm -hmm. And the uh, reason, uh, what I think the reason is why the American, why, why the uh, American and uh, Can Canadian as well, some Asian uh, goldens are shown completely in different type of shape. 
is because actually, <laughs> on some stage, it's actually almost completely other kind of appearing breed. <laughs> They don't have the same expression, they don't have the same body type, they don't show them, and um, the quality of the code. Uh, we had a, uh, like maybe two, three years ago, one American showed a uh, dog in, uh, in, in Italy. He was presented by, by one. Uh, which breed? Which breed? Golden. Golden Retriever. Uh -huh. Okay. The, the Anna said uh, uh, should we present uh, online uh, grooming of the, of the European? European way of making uh, goldens. I said, sure, we have a golden on, on mine, but uh, also I think that if the American type of the golden retriever would be groomed as a European, the appearance of the dog would be completely different because they have other kind of head and expression. Agree, and the coat and the quality, coat quality is yes. completely different. Yes. And the way they, 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 they show them, almost like a German Shepherd, you know, with those uh, angulations in behind and the uh, long coat front. But I, on, on some stage, I can't say I don't like that. I really enjoy Do you like that? Uh, I don't have much experience watching them, really, you know, because... American, uh, those American uh, Goldens? Yeah, that's mm -hmm. right. Yeah. So, uh, again, you know, like, um, well, I like what I, I used to see, you know, but uh, again, if you see a, a nice dog, well-made dog, it can be shown this way or the other way. Just the point is, is it really the type I'm looking for to watch? Again, the English thing, yeah. yeah. English Springers, I've seen yesterday on, at, in, in, at you know, Westminster. Well, um, no, English Cockers are not so different. There is a difference in style, not so much in type, but with the English Springers... Like appear completely like different a, yeah, breeds. Like two different breeds, you know. And to yeah. be honest, I cannot to, say to, really to, which... To, co yeah. to compare uh, English uh, to American Springer is like you compare English to the Irish. No? So, <laughs> oh, 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 <laughs> I wouldn't go so far, but okay, yeah, that's right. There, there is some sense. I mean, uh, Sp uh, Springer Spaniels. Yeah, yeah, Springer Spaniels, <laughs> that's right. Yeah, Springer, yeah. What? What's going on? So we want to exaggerate the, now the hawk, yep, correct? Right. Yeah, to make it clean, you know, because... So when back angulations yeah. appear. Yeah, from this end you're really, now you're, now you're seeing how, how nice and uh, excellent, like he's, he's gorgeous, like really, really. Uh, yep. Yeah. He dropped the top line of all that. Yeah, of course, but he's dead, he's like... Uh, Start to appear, no? Yeah, yeah, there he is. <laughs> there he is, there he is. Almost. Getting here, getting there. So you're going against, uh, I mean, I mean worse. Yeah, yeah, well, this is, this is, uh, this is some code, some under code, but all together it will stay here. So mm -hmm. we'll be there. Hi from Romania. Can you explain please what is a streaming and what is stripping? Streaming and stripping? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is a streaming and stripping? What is the streaming and stripping? Yes. Streaming is like something that's last one. Can you just, uh, Carmen, can you just uh, put up your question? And Anna said, agree with you on all about the type, but, in the, but the thing is that now they have imported a lot of goldens from Europe and they don't know to groom them. <clears throat> well, I uh, do agree when you see that kind of, you know, uh, faces and necks of the European style and the English uh, goldens, mm -hmm. you know, in American type of the coat and grooming would be really funny or something. Okay. 
now, now you are doing the hawk, getting away everything or what? No, not everything. Just we have to see first. <laughs> what, yeah, what, what what do we have here? What do we, <laughs> we have a lot. We have a plenty. We need to make this short, short, and parallel to each other. Parallel to what? To each other. Which each other? Hook to hook and, and left to right or uh, one part of the of left the to right. How close? Um, not too much, because mm -hmm. in that way we will get uh, a little <coughs> bit narrow. Narrow? Narrow, like you know, the bone looks like not strong enough. If we chop everything, it's not too close. So we need still to have a bone, bone uh, appear. Yeah, that's right. grateful for the for the technical support on everything of these things you guys I did these live streams forever but uh, I much appreciate every everyone who worked for me but you wrong so far <laughs> okay and uh, yeah that's what I have to say uh, a little bit too much here so we will just let it fall down. And everything you do with the with the thinning shears? Yeah. I feel comfortable with them. There is no way I can make mistake with that. With what? My shears. Ah, which one you are using? <laughs> I don't know. It <laughs> says something like. <laughs> Sasha Reese masterpiece. Oh my God! Somebody gave it to me, you know. Yeah, that was a present for last time. Ah, is it possible to present the grooming of the Bernard, uh, uh, Bernard Shepherd, Bernard Schenenhut? Yes, of course. I do love to do them. Uh, when you strip, do you only use your fingers or you use knife from time to time? Just the fingers. I don't teach. Uh, do you have a? Do you have a? Do you have a? Do you have a? Do you have a knives at all in your grooming? grooming? Nope. Uh, when uh, you will be, you I, I will. Um, I will let you know for sure, uh, and I do have a uh, right to go all over the place with a <clears throat> with a, with a breeds and maybe find some some more to present you, and uh, you will have find some schedule on top. Oh my God, what a nice uh, what a nice outline on the back angulations appear now. Thank you. Now again, you are using a facial scissors. Yeah, just you know, these are cut all over the place. That's right. Close to the, close to. Yeah, that's right. This paw. is what. Well, we just need to have. Which kind of pause they need to have? What does it? Get fit. Get, you know, like, look like. That's Karin asked again, what is uh, how old is the dog? Nine years. He's nine years. Yeah. Really great. He's nine. He turned nine in January. So, so it was just his uh, birthday. Yeah, yeah. January the twelfth. January the twelfth. That's right. Yeah. Little golden dog was born. 
And this is actually what you see when, you, uh, this is very nice and comfortable for the dog to keep their, uh, their legs. So you're not pulling too much aside. You're just moving it uh, with the, how the dog will normally move. And then they feel comfortable to, to, to stay and to support. This is, uh, he really works perfectly. And all of this he did uh, over the live stream was really just for to be appreciated. You're just going so close to, do we have this? Yes, we do. It's amazing. We have very nice impressions. Um, Marina, Heb, Ok, Zen, and Mui, I don't understand. Daddy, Harry, Alina, always in a super shape. Okay. That is really true. Thank you. Uh, Bobby, again, going in and out. Girls, thank you very much for being here. This does look amazing. I like your, uh, I like your, so you're going to close to the, to the nails and, and feet. Okay. Harry has a big feet, you know. We look, we, we called him, when he was a puppy, we called him big foot. Oh. And he really, you know, he's a wonderful, uh, he has a big bone, a strong, and big feet, so if I left uh, too much, it would be like then, a big foot. Then he, uh, he didn't look so balanced. I mean, he looks actually, as you say, super balanced then in that case, because he would never fall down with such a big feet. <laughs> but, but, uh, like a ballerina. Yeah, yeah, but generally, uh, here it is. So, the final thing. Okay, how do you maintain so short and nice nails? How often do you cut them? All the time when I'm when I'm when I'm doing it. My dream. Do you have a curl? Yes, I do. Okay. You need one. You. Um, thank you for sharing with this. Sad. Yes, the dream. Uh, Drusko, Drusko is teaching with us at uh, Sashri's Academy and you are very welcome to enroll some of his classes and he is uh, doing it amazingly. Thank you. Well, okay. With the curved scissors. Yep. And now you just blend the entire It's the same, making short and parallel. In the end, we will yeah. we will turn this to you, yeah, and then one. yeah, you'll see. Okay, you will see how it turns. Gorgeous! Oh my God, I do love this outline of yours. How do you, and you you cut it just underline? Yeah, this is. Uh, do you cut all of the hair between the toes, Gab or Uh Not all the code, but you know, like, if I we imagine that this is a nail, so I'm going inside of the nails here mm -hmm. and move, but not really close to them. So, optically make, yeah, optically no. make a round. So, see, see, there is, there is a nail here. Okay, I'll learn a little bit. But there is more code here, as you can see. Mm -hmm. So not really, like, it's not a poodle. I'm just trying to make it uh, rounded. Round, really. Yeah. Round. Uh, Round. Okay. And this is something that I can spend an hour doing that. Only the feet? Just the feet, yeah. I'm kind of... Um, Streber. <laughs> I'm kind of streber. I'm kind of streber. <laughs> I'm kind of obsessed with the feet, you know. Like yeah, it's like so here. Same here. <clears throat> and now you are uh, just putting it together? Yeah, yeah, I'm just trying to, to make it, you know, like super perfect picture as possible. Again, with a with a black dog, it's so easy because you don't have any mm -hmm. problems with the coat difference, with the coat color. But here, 
you've got a dog that, you know, this looks like all together. Uh -huh. Not really much amazing, I much appreciate Okay, it. now we have to do the same from the other side. So you're doing first the back legs? Ah, yes. And then? And then I'm doing, just making clean the, the coat on the, on the, because one thing follows to another. If I'm doing a back legs and make this underline, uh -huh. It means I can follow the, the coat on the making underline on the, on the belly and it will tell me from where to start grooming front legs. Mm -hmm. So it's because I tell you one thing leads to another and it means that the dog looks like in balance. Again, same thing. can see better now this way on this leg. Can you see it nice? Amazing uh, thing when you see someone uh, expressing the knowledge so so flowing and beautiful. And I really enjoy you. How big is the compliment? How big is the compliment? What way are you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. <laughs> Just that, that, was, that was actually what I did. Um, because uh, this is a way. Oh, we have a very nice audience. One fifty people watching. That's very good. Cool. And he fall asleep. Stay like this. Yeah. <laughs> that guy. Um, the question is: uh, Are you doing? Do you have your bad days in grooming, and how you get uh, through that when you need to do something? And then you. Well, <sighs> will you skip grooming on those days? If will... possible, I would skip. Really? Yeah, if possible, because this is something what I'm doing. Um, because I like it. If I do not enjoy really, I don't like it, of course, and then it's better to stop. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, it's not easy. I mean, if I'm grooming my own dog, it's, it's all right. So I just can say, okay, leave it and start tomorrow. Tomorrow will be another day. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, if you have some appointment and people just come and travel a lot of miles to come here for, uh, you know, grooming, even from other countries, mm -hmm. then you just cannot do that. You, you have to groom the dog. And do you sometimes uh, surprise yourself when you see your dog groomed? You was not expecting to be as it appeared, and then you're like, whoa, who did it? Yeah, well, uh, <laughs> sometimes, uh, uh, sometimes dogs surprise me itself, you know, like, uh, First going over, just do not let me imagine that he can do, you know, nice as, as, as it ended on the, you know, but uh, I think I can, I can, I can change him. I can move him like this, okay? Are they any better thinners than that or it is the coat? Uh, what was that the question, Nicole? Nicole just asked, uh, are they any better thinners than that, or it is the coat? Uh, Alina says, but if do they hog that short? In movement, the long hair stays outside. How that can be? Which coat? This, co this coat is going to be groomed. And uh, this coat is not, do is not going anywhere. Uh -huh. So the, that, that coat is will, will be groomed, and that coat is not going anywhere. <laughs> and just a question, can you ask, uh, Nicole, can you just put up the question, uh, what does it mean the, that that coat is uh, like that, or uh, he needs a better thinner? So just that. Maybe it looks like something, I'm struggling with something, I don't know. Do you? 
I'm not, I don't know. Maybe it looks like, I don't know. Weeks. Oh, Mina Pilevich is here. <laughs> okay. How is Petra doing? <laughs> How the baby is doing? Daddy is quite busy here. Nice job. And uh, I really, uh, okay, do, is there any other? And Lavinia is us, uh, also with us, Loic. Okay. Hi, Hello. boys. Uh, okay, it says neck. Uh, Mirella says neck and two shoulders. For angulation, find it sometimes hard to groom. It's smooth. You use their thinning shears. I think that uh, that's the question, but if mm -hmm. you rewatch the video, you'll see yes. Yes, like and he does. I use, yeah, yeah, that's it. This is what I'm doing. Yes, he does it. look, uh, do the thinning shears, and he does look very, very smooth and very, very close. You want your coffee? And a little bit of something else, please. Yes. Huh. <laughs> I didn't saw it's missing. It's gone. So really big pleasure having you here today. And I, I think I share the audience uh, impressions as well. fun doing this uh, English Cocker Spaniel and he does look amazing and adorable. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just yep. want to put him on. Yeah, yeah. You said so, what does yeah, it mean? Yeah, so it means we have to move this coat here. Where, where do you want to move it? To make it. What the great angulation you did. He's not standing anymore. Up, 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 up. Yes, I'm so sorry. Uh, can you just transfer yourself to the uh, Sashri's page so I can see your comments working on here? Thank you very much, people. Um, and yes, I do love when you are putting up the, 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 the questions. So we have things going on in and out. A very nice uh, audience view. <coughs> Just to see where it starts. Uh, amazing! You see how great your you 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 have an amazing. Uh, what you're doing? Can you just uh, post yourself uh, a little bit behind? Yep. So well, I, I'll move here. Which I camera see. we do? This one. Okay. I'll try to make how, how we are now going to see. We have two, well, let's say parallel things. So we, we need to make it absolutely straight. Okay. I like that angulation, how it appeared. So you are, how you are doing that? 
What is intention? What is your intention? Intention is, if you leave too much coat here, mm -hmm. when the dog moves from the side, it's just going following over him and going. When you send the dog up and down, mm -hmm. uh, it will look that he's going uh, closer, mm -hmm. you know, to have a narrow, to be narrow in movement. If you make it clean here, then the judge and everybody else will see where the, the hooks are, where the feet are, and how they move it wide enough. Mm -hmm. And especially you can make it parallel so you see two normal legs it's pushing. It's a gun dog that actually should be very powerful in, in drive, correct? That's right, yeah. Hmm? So, again, so would, you, would you prefer to see it at both when, when it's driving or it's not, not important so high? Uh, well, they are not kicking. You're not, not kicking. Yeah, yeah, they that, are not that kicking. Yeah, yeah, they use it. yeah, that's right. <coughs> but still powerful. And they are using self. Hmm? They are using themselves, and you can see that. You know, you, you know, everybody knows that the power goes from the, the, from the, from the, from the hind legs. So you see how they use themselves. Can I help you with all of the scissors? Do you need everything of that? No head. Uh, Scissors, yeah, maybe yes, but the King, no. Trop no, 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 not, not anymore. No, no, not anymore. Kelly says, thank you for showing uh, close-up, considering the feet. Very nice to be able to see uh, that. So, uh, thank you so much. As I so said, we, uh, there is a great production with us. Just has this. Thank you. <coughs> and here. Sorry. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah. He used to have him stay normal. Yeah. He... The tricky thing with all dogs is that they eventually learn all the impossible ways to stand. To stand. Yeah, how to torture you. Is that to torture you? To, to torture myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think he's doing that now. But. Yeah, but uh, why is our game? <laughs> why the dogs doing doing do, uh, do enjoy grooming uh, so much is actually because uh, they do enjoy intention. Well, yeah, and, of course. And focus and everything we are doing with them is just something what really relaxes them and uh, giving them possibility to 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 to, to down and enjoy enjoy the process. But actually, yeah, what they you, doing? Yes. Okay, thank you very much, sir. Little thank guy. You. And um, <clears throat> uh, what, what amazes me with this process is actually uh, sometimes I flip off as well, in order that I don't know what, how long I, I did the grooming. Mm -hmm. But also the dog itself as well, like flip off as well and enjoy and does not complain. Because they do really, because um, the dog groomer connection is something that is actually very very much uh, enjoyable. It's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's specific thing, you know, like I really, you know, in my grooming experience has a, a, a dogs who were really happy to come and see me and be groomed and then felt beautiful and their own owners find them, oh, how beautiful you are and I, c I could see that. The other way, I've seen some dogs that were not happy but they were like, okay, I'll do my job because I, everything else in my life is made for me. So, so let's keep it this way. But generally, these legs are close to me. How did you grow? How did you learn? Who did, who did learn? Who did teach? Who was my teacher? Well, uh, if any. If any. Yeah. Um, basics, I've got like, uh, I've got some grooming seminars, but it was not really for just a cocker, it was, you know, for, for all breeds of some, some things in technique. Mm -hmm. But all, all my tricks and everything were shown to me by, by, by late John Gillespie. He really oh. showed me some things that he for a long time kept it as, as, as a secret. And like, uh, what was like? How how does it look like when you keep something for the secret, and then you release it for the for the for the for you the world? feel so honored, you know, you feel so blessed that you have somebody who decided now he's going to 
Uh, I've showed this trick to people. I'm not using this today for Harry because he got rich here, but there is a thing that he's using here, like a stone, uh -huh. you know, for a stop, and it's really... It, I think you did it for yeah, the Yeah, for the rap did, I've yes, done that. And he showed me that thing, and, I, and it really super worked, so... Can you just help Yes, thank you very much. Bling. You're here, right there, okay. Sorry. Just a little butter. Yeah, thing. yeah, okay. Um, I'm really enjoying this time with you again. I'm kind of a fan of yours. When the English group is bad. But not, not only in English Just like in general. Yeah, okay. Uh, what, uh, what are you doing next? Well, I'm now making a, a line there. Where? On the belly. Uh, but you will not finish first the front part. No, I, I need to. This is what I said. So, look. Um, we had an accident here with a coat, which means that he was chewing a little bit here or something. The bitch was in season, he was jumping on her and he didn't stop doing this. But anyway, I make this down line, okay. underline, underline. see, and now I can decide, you know, this line has now some sense with the, with the hind legs. Now I can choose from which part I'm going to, uh -huh. to make a fit. You suffered until you didn't find uh, this out, or it was some tip that I'm going to show you? Well, I, this is just a tip. Who showed you this? Or you find it out yourself? Oh, I find it myself. That was a question. Yeah, aha, this is a tip for, for the guys. Yeah, but that was a question. Uh, again, we are into the tip moment. The tip is when your knowledge is seeking expression. Then you end up having a tip song. And uh, this is very important to understand because sometimes some tips will not going to work for you if there is not knowledge in behind of understanding why the tip is supposed to be used. You get it? Yeah, agree. I like to do those uh, silent seminars and sometimes I presented myself to the students and I just put the dog in front of them and I just grew it. Grew, I, I just grew the dog. Okay, I'll speak that story later on. I just want to bother you now. What are you doing? So you started from behind and you blended the entire... Uh, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm not doing uh, front feet as short as I'm doing with the uh, with hind feet. Mm -hmm. Why? But What's the reason for that? To be honest, with, with him, he does not have any more, and this is a good uh, advice for the people, it's a super when you have a dog with a, you know, super tight fingers and, you know, stay like together. Then you can do whatever you want with the feet. The feet will still be, you know, like, like perfect. Mm -hmm. It look like feet. But, uh, well, he's now in a good age and his fingers now are going a little bit away in the side. Mm -hmm. So it's better to leave a little bit more coat around. Still, we can make a feet rounded. Mm -hmm. And nice, just a little bit bigger. Thank you. And you call him Bigfoot. Yeah, yeah. And you are using a cursor. Yeah, because yeah, it's nicer for the, shape. yeah. For the feet is well to make a basic. Okay. And then. I can use... You will use again? Yeah, well, I can see now. What you made it very short, like a front, uh, front, uh, front feathering. Did you? You cut a lot? Here? Yeah, yes. Yeah, well, again, if you have, it's enough. Okay. If you have a lot of coats, when the dog moves again, it goes fluff, fluff everywhere. So it's... So somewhere more is... Yeah, less is more. Less is more. That's right. So you see guys, less is more. Great. Very nice, very nice. It's looking like you know what you're doing. He's creepy. Yeah, he's a little bit tired now. Sleepy. But we are soon to finish. Here we 
can move a little bit more because we don't need this code and it's not visible and it's easier to keep clean. Mm -hmm. I think people can see what I'm doing now, but okay, just cleaning between the... Yes, between yeah. the poles. Poles, yeah. Uh, any question there? Just a second to see. Uh, no, it's looking like there is pretty much... pretty much... Uh, this coming to be like a long movie. And the people are in, in the middle of the week and going, going in and out, but really it's normal. Very nice shape here. Yeah. Sometimes, uh, actually, it can be that uh, top, uh, the top of the feet. What you will do it? Just okay, I'll uh, ask you later on. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, when, when we will see it. Uh, as, and again, you want to see the nail here as well. Yeah, yeah. Just, but not not as much as I'm doing uh, uh, with the hind feet. So because of this, actually, it's important to keep the nail uh, be short. Yeah, as short as possible. That's right. And you start uh, maintaining that uh, nail, uh, nail uh, length uh, since they are puppies? Yeah, very much. So you start cutting them short uh, immediately, when? Yeah, well, well, second day when they were born, I'm doing this. Mm -hmm. And then trying to keep them as short as possible. It's good because they are not, there is no chance that they can hurt mommy. And, and they're not uh, hurting themselves. Then themselves, that's horses. right, between each other, that's right. And plus, it will be shorter in a time. And the quick doesn't grow so big as so much, so you can you can always keep them short. So well, if you if you do that like once a, one, once a week with a puppy, I think you can have a really nice length and, of length of nail. And then on the end of the day, they doesn't uh, they, they they learn to they learn to have that uh, that routine. That's right. And they do not complain. Are your dogs complain now when you are cutting the feet? Babies? No. The the not the feet, the nails. The nails. Mm -hmm. the adult dogs or babies? No matter which one. They, uh, they, no. Can they learn? Do they, do they learn to enjoy? I have one girl, Orca. She's crying all the time. She cried when she was a baby. She cries nowadays. She cries if you hold just to hold the feet. She's uh -huh. like ah. That's in drama. She's queen. a drama queen. Yeah. So. I cannot say that all of them are doing, but this is the joy of, of having uh, uh, a lot of dogs. They are, all of them are different. So she is the one that, you know, like, I'm not allowed to brush her in a time when Petra needs to sleep because she makes so much noise. Like, I don't know, I'm taking off her skin and nothing else. Oh, boy. Yeah, so she, she's like that. Okay, just one more thing. Thank you very much. Okay. So, to answer your question, yes, I'm doing this. If mm -hmm. that is the top of the feet. Yeah, that was the question. Yeah. Are you doing the top of the feet? To make it rounded. So what is intention? Which kind of feet it should be? Well, what does the standard we, we, say? Uh, the standard said uh, feet should be rounded, get look like, you know, like with a with an, just a little bit of nail that you can see, but not promote it. Mm -hmm. And uh, with Harry, it looks like more like a lynx feet, you know, not really because it's a big one. Mm -hmm. It's my big foot. Wow. <coughs> Okay, another one. Great. Uh, take just a second to reach again some of the questions and answers. Okay, we are back. Thank you, Dushko and Sasha. Thank you very much for chance to this watch this wonderful thing. Um, thank you for showing a close up. Okay, now you are full grooming on him. How often do you have to? Do the correction if you would like to keep this kind of grooming in the future. It says Gabor Ankola is asking. Gabor again. 
it's like I said, different parts of the dog. Different. Yeah, different. Yeah. So for for him, if I would like to go like on a Belgrade dog show, which is in two weeks. In two weeks? weeks? In two weeks. Already. March the third, fourth, whatever. Which I'm not going because I was judging this one. Yeah, but anyway, uh, <laughs> if I would like to do that, so I will. Uh, I will. Um, there is not many things to do here in the back or whatever. Here as well, but the feet are supposed to be done neck, and these parts will be definitely done again just uh, a, a, a day before the, the show. Sure. Sure. Yeah, just fine. Uh, no, I, I have to. Camera, yes. I have to move, and then yes, move, please. And now uh, the question is. Uh, so here again, we have a code starting from here. Here is the point that they gather together, and then from that I'm starting going down there. Okay, you gave a very nice. Uh, so depend on the dog. Depends, depends, on the, on the depends on the dog, depends how, how long coat he has, depends if he's shorter dog, longer dog, it, it all makes, you know, different, different, different decision where to start. But again, I could never, you know, th this is, these things are something that I'm not thinking when I go over dog. This is something, That's okay, it will come to me later, it will answer itself later. That is that is the way. When you know what, what is the goal, then the way just show up. And that is, guys, what you need to really understand. Uh, you cannot get focused with a problem, and you cannot make a, a grooming uh, become a problem for you when now you want to say, solve the problem, in meaning uh, I want to learn how to groom English Cocker Spaniel. Grooming of the English Cocker Spaniel is expression of the knowledge you have about English Cocker Spaniel. Because the grooming of the English Cocker Spaniel as well of the other sporting breeds, as I already told, is body shape with a feathering. Correct? Yeah. So in order to express the body shape and leave the feathers on the way where they, where they will not affect of the shape of the dog's body, you need to know what is the shape of the dog's body. Exactly. So you need to learn to interpret the standard, and before that you need to understand the way why that dog should look like that, to so read the breed history, understand the purpose of that body, and why that body needed to be developed. And then, when you ask a question, uh, will you pull out the coat, uh, undercoat from the, from the side of the ribcage, and how deep you will go, then you get an, a logical answer, I don't do that because I do want to express the round ribcage. Correct? Yeah. So it's not a grooming tip. It's expression, it's a way of expressing, expressing the knowledge. That is the most important. So once you take the scissors in the hands, it's already laid to be learned. Okay? Or do you agree? Absolutely. So you need to, you, when you, with the scissors, you are applying already your knowledge you have about the breed. Yeah, that's finished. And then actually, yeah, yeah. yeah it's completely end of the story. It's like uh, you have a cake and uh, now you are putting the, 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 the cream on the cake. The grooming is a cream on the cake. It's not a cherry, it's something more than the cherry on top of the cake. The cherry on the cake would be a per personal touch and the taste. Yeah. When you said ears, this is how I do love the ears to appear because that's my personal taste. But the shape of the dog is actually a cream. And the knowledge about a breed is a cake itself. So you are not, not going to, to work if you just, after this video, go home and just start to... Uh, uh, what about ears? Uh, ears uh, Susie is asking, uh, what about ears? Are they stay, uh, staying long for a reason? I said we just answered that question. They are really long. <laughs> they are long. He has, he he has, has a long, long yeah, ears. He has a long skin, you know, and uh, the coat actually is long, just like less than two fingers, nine fingers, which means again it's not too long. But he's, he he has a long ears. Yes, he's, he's that that kind of boy.
let's see, uh, is there any other question? Uh, no. Uh, the last one was about uh, was uh, was about the ears. Mm -hmm. He's a really ear eerie boy. Yeah, but I just yeah. want to ask you about this. Yeah, this is a rich. Again, would, would you do something with it? Uh, when you blow dry, so it finally, will be, will yeah, dry. it will lay down because you know he was not bad. So when you bath him and blow dry, it comes down. Uh, probably better not to do anything because. There is a way that you can trim these things, but it would hurt him now. <coughs> Pardon. Yeah, because so you need to pull out the... Yeah, the, 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 the healthy coat the healthy out. Coat, yeah. yeah, and it will definitely will not be pleasure and not nice things to do. Oh, you are coming up, uh, coming, uh, in the question, uh, coming into the very nice picture. Yay. You did it like you really know. Yeah. Okay. Um, what was the first dog you, you ever groomed? What do you mean, what was the first dog? Your first dog you groomed? First it time. was my, yeah, well, it was, um, it was my, my how first. Old you, how old you how, 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 were? When, when was that? Or when how, was, old, yeah. how old you were? I was old, like, 20, 20, 20 years. 20 uh, years? Yeah. And it was a Cocker Spaniel? It was a black Cocker Spaniel bitch, yeah. And? Oh, it ended very <laughs> harsh, <laughs> but okay, on the end. We all have a friend. Yeah, dog. yeah. I, I just, yeah. Yeah. I, she I, was, yeah, she was a pet dog, you know, and then uh, it was just like my experimental rabbit, you know, and I could work everything on, on that. Mm -hmm. But um, she was not a showgirl, so whatever I made mistakes, it was like okay. But again, she she was the one that makes me trying to learn something about it. And the point is, you have a people who just you know are 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 very nice breeders and clever breeders and whatever. They just don't like to do grooming. They, they, they don't feel well. And they would always find somebody who, who can do that. And uh, what was uh, the way of you? I, I do remember. I do have that uh, that interview with you. Uh, look at the shape. How does he appear? You know. So even the the, the nine-year-old uh, dog looks gorgeous. Yeah, can look. So oh, here I will follow just. Oh my God. Yep. For sure. Yep, he does not need it. She needs to fit with this. Brush by brush. Yeah, we did not make mistakes. We should have to clean it. From the other side as well. <laughs> clean, clean. Is there any other question to be asked, people? So, all in all, that, I believe, would be... Would you? Attention. Yes. You think you're done? Yep. Yeah, I will. I will uh, make can it. Can you? Stand. Yeah, right, right. So now to just to see. So just a second. Adorable yeah. grooming. Many thanks. Many thanks from Russia. And now we are coming and asking uh, just to see him to put him in the. Thank you. Okay, now you can make a photo actually of you know uh, before. Do we have a photo? Okay. Um, this is how he ended up being groomed after Dushko's sharing our. Yeah, three. Yeah. 
Well, voila. That's look amazing, no? Yeah, I think is is uh, well now. We are, we are, uh, <laughs> finally. So, uh, is there anything else you would love to share with the people? Well, at the moment, it's like I prefer growing a black dog than the red one. Why? <laughs> because it's easier and the mistakes cannot be so visible as as we can make, but it's okay. But you, which kind of uh, which kind of mistakes? Like we are speaking about uh, perfectly groomed dog. Or? Yeah. Well, anyway. Look at the picture on the on the screen. Okay. Just a second. Uh, okay. When you. Need to go uh -huh. on. All right. And uh, what is uh, what is what I want to really wanted to? Uh, oh my God, he's swimming in place. He's so cute and happy. Um, any anything to to share with the people? Still, still there is uh, the the same point is uh, you have to know what you're looking for. Find your own way how to do that. Look this video. Look the videos that other guys are are uh, making or other groomers are making. But uh, you have to find you, your own way and to come to what you think is the best in standard, in one breed, in grooming and how to come to that. That's, that's it. That's, that's the knowledge. That's the point. Yeah, that's the knowledge. All that's right. the knowledge. So not that, that's, that's previous content needed before you start grooming. Yeah, that's right. Okay. okay. Thank you very much for your time. Yeah. Thank again, you very much for, for this amazing uh, lecturing. Uh, which one we are live with? Uh, this one here? Okay, so yeah. just to say you bye. And thank you very much for being with us. Uh, share, comment, like, and uh, feel free to uh, share your impressions on everything we did so far. And stay tuned. We are coming live with more. Okay, ciao. Bye.